What's up everybody, Ride Flow here, and boy do I have a banger for everybody here. Saturday was a crazy night. Uh, you can see here, up to 105 subscribers. Uh, if you have recently subscribed to the channel, welcome. If you have yet to subscribe to the channel, be sure to do so. Uh, this video is about two hours long, so uh, buckle up. You may not be able to get through it all in one shot. Uh, the first half, the first hour or so is uh, rather slow, but it's more so me chatting with you and going over my strategies, uh, my placement, what type of rides that I'll be looking for, which direction. Uh, and the second half of the video, things get really heated up. Uh, maxed out $25 surge bonuses on multiple rides. Uh, the most amount of money I've ever made driving, doing ride share in over four years. Um, I'm on traditional lift. Okay, and Uber X. So the lowest of the low tiers, uh, really a night for the record books. I hope everybody enjoys this video. Be sure to leave a like if you do, a comment down below, and let's get into it. All right, all right. It is 5.53 p.m. Saturday night. We are over here in St. Petersburg. You see, I took one ride. Uh, we're gonna take a look at all this stuff here in just a second when I'm able to pull over. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show y'all what we're going to be getting ourselves into here for tonight. Last night, made about 260 bucks. I don't know, about six hours of driving or so. We'll take a look at everything here. Uh, right now, I'm driving south on Roosevelt, trying to head down towards 4th Street uh, and make our way uh, closer to the immediate downtown St. Pete area where we're going to hopefully be able to cash in. You can see there. Uh, there's one of those five dollar bonus hours here starting in about five minutes so last night uh, we had one between like 10 and 11 p.m i think i had like six rides as crazy as that sounds I had like six maybe even seven rides i think i had a passenger cancel and they still gave it to me um in that period in an hour and i made an additional five dollars each time so um, i'm anxious to see how tonight's gonna play out between six and seven i'm not anticipating too much uh, but down here, you see there's another one, again, at 10 to 11 p.m. I went ahead and set the alarms here to make sure I'm online for lift. Uh, and then late night, 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. So these are going to be, in my opinion, fairly lucrative, uh, especially for the shorter runs. And it does stack with surge. Last night, I had some, you know, rides that would normally only give maybe 3 or $4. Uh, they were in a $5 surge zone, so I got an additional 5 And then an additional 5 on top with this bonus streak. So... We'll take a look at all that stuff here once I pull over. Uh, but again, we got about five minutes here. Uh, we'll take a look at the maps here for Uber. Uh, just to give you an idea where we're at, not much has been popping off for Uber. Uh, but we're not going to sleep on Uber because last night uh, Uber definitely started to uh, flare up there uh, alongside Lyft. And I was able to make a, a pretty decent uh, hourly. Uh, that's really the big thing here. I drove till about 3.30 or 4 a.m. And I'm ready to do that here again tonight. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, I'm stopped at a red light. So I just had a uh, ride here. Uh, you see 1145 that took me over from uh, kind of the Tampa area. It was not a good ride by any means, but uh, it did get me over uh, to St. Petersburg. Uh, here's a quick look. Uh, last night here, you see some of those were early morning trips, 322 a.m. You see some of the ride bonuses, which are the surges ride bonus uh, and then if we go down here down here bonus hours so you see there bonus hour five let's see i had one um two three four five and that was within a single hour one of them like i said somebody canceled and they still gave it to me uh even though it says if you go to the kind of learn more the little tutorial that they have there on uh those streak zones or should i say those bonus hours uh, it says that if the passenger or you as the driver cancel, you don't get it. But they still gave it to me, so I don't know why. Maybe it was a glitch or whatever, uh, but I was pretty happy for that. Um, let me go ahead and pull off uh, into this parking lot here, and we'll take a look at Uber as well. Uh, but, yeah, it's, um, you know, Saturdays are a little bit different. Saturdays generally in this area, whether it be Tampa or St. Pete, um, they're usually a little busier Saturdays than Fridays. Uh, Fridays, you got a lot of people who... Uh, obviously work the whole day and then they're looking to go out and party uh, they tend to head home a bit earlier uh, Saturdays are, are a completely different animal 
And of course, now that we have the the Halloween crowd, uh, I anticipate a, a really busy night with heavy surge. I didn't take any screenshots. I kind of regret doing it. Um, and I did it record last night, mainly because I was just so busy. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to record every single ride tonight, but we're definitely going to do our best. So Having a look here at Uber from last night, let's take a look here. Uh, last trip, 28 bucks. Let's go here to the weekly summary. So last night, you see four hours of online time, made about 121 bucks. Um, you see the tips there. Uh, a lot of the trips here, you see that last one there, that was kind of out of my way, but I ended up getting another ride back uh, via Lyft up towards Tampa. But yeah, I mean, it was a decent night with Uber, but definitely did better um per mile on lift so let's go to the weekly breakdown here so yeah i mean i didn't that was the week before but 152.24 i only had one other ride i posted that video the other day for like three bucks so i made like 140 something dollars and you see my book time for three hours and 26 minutes all right six o'clock on the dot let's go ahead and kick on lift 325 bonus zone and a five dollar bonus hour now active now this area here all right so let's go ahead and do this one what is that six dollars and 33 cents with a three dollar bonus plus that additional five so let's go ahead and accept this for about actually less than three miles uh, this should be a pretty easy ride here. Let's take a look who we're picking up. Jennifer, 100 rides, 5.0 rating. And she's been online for seven years. So let's go pick her up, drop her off, and get started on this streak. Just dropped Jennifer off. That was a real easy ride. And what do we got here? $14 to go back to Tampa. No way. And we are in St. Pete for tonight. Maybe somebody else is looking to go over to uh, Tampa Bay. I had a good night like i said uh, i will touch more on it as the video goes i don't know how long this video is going to be normally you know after i get done editing they're about an hour uh, i try to stick to about that long because you know everybody's got you know somewhat of an attention span uh, but we'll touch on uh through the night you know how things went i definitely had some interesting stories last night to tell um some good some bad <laughs> but uh yeah definitely stick around uh through the video and uh, as we, oh, there you go, $5 tip. So who tipped me? Was that that first ride? Let me pull in over here. I'm at this uh, this little car wash here. Um, and for any of you that are Uber drivers, a, a really good kind of chill spot, like if you're driving and you just kind of want to chill, are these uh, self-serve car washes. You could just basically pull into a bay. Uh, you get some shade. So we have $4.23 for about four miles, but that's getting the $5 bonus. Let's go ahead and accept that. Again, our goal here is to accept as many rides as we can here within the hour. Uh, Kasame, let's go ahead and pick them up about seven miles away. Um, but yeah, I find that, um, you know, depending on where you live and depending on, you know, if you've got nosy neighbors and, you know, people that are paranoid, if you will, you know, even if you're an Uber driver, and I've mentioned this in, in many of my videos, even if you're an Uber driver with, you know, an Uber placard with uh, you know, stickers on your vehicle with a cell phone mount, people still look at you like, you know, you're, you know, lurking on them and encroaching in their territory. You know what I'm saying? Like as it relates to kind of posting yourself up, waiting for the next ride. I found that doctor's offices, especially, you know, like after 5 p.m., banks even after 5 p.m., you know, you could kind of park yourself uh, and, and just kind of chill because the name of the game is to not burn fuel. You know, I, I usually shut my engine off. I don't play any games in between rides tonight. Last night are probably exceptions because, you know, the amount of demand that's going to be coming through uh, is, you know, is going to negate any type of fuel loss. Um, but yeah, self-serve car washes are pretty cool. You find a nice self-serve car wash. They're usually not too busy. You can just pull into one of those bays. You've got some shade. Uh, you could just kind of chill there, shut the engine off. All right, just dropped that dude off and his wife. When I first pulled in, I was picking him up. I didn't even know it when I accepted it, but I was picking him up at like a Save-A-Lot or some sort of grocery store. And as soon as I pulled up, I was like, oh, hell no. He had like a big cart of groceries, whatever. So I was like, all right, well, whatever. So I, I pulled up, dude gets in my car, hands me a $10 bill. So I was like, immediately I'm like, all right, it's all good. All right, next ride here, $5.20. 
Man, that's not a bad ride. All right, screw it. Let's just take it. Um, after this bonus hour, though, so I've got about another 30 minutes, I'm going to be doing my best to start heading, like I said earlier, back down to kind of like downtown St. Pete area. Um, I got to be careful here. These rides, even though I'm, you know, getting an extra, you know, five bucks a pop plus surge, um, I don't want it to, you know, keep taking me further and further away because that's, you know, what these algorithms do. They know exactly where I want to be. They know where I drove last night. They know where I like accepting rides. Um, so we're going to see here. But yeah, so that last ride ended up being pretty good. We're going to take a look at everything here uh, once everything settles down. Uh, and when I was driving myself over uh, to drop him off, boy, they were lighting me up with all sorts of rides, nature hikes uh, over back to Tampa, north up to like the holiday area, all sorts of garbage. So you just got to be patient if you are lucky enough to get these uh, five dollar bonus hours or whatever just wait there's there's plenty of demand they'll feed you the shorter rides you know stay within three five seven miles uh, or at least you know pick up something that is going to be heading in the direction that you'd like to go that would be my suggestion all right just dropped them off and we accepted another ride when i was uh just about to drop them off and i'm paying attention to the time as well it's 6 47 uh, p.m so only got another a uh, few minutes here of the bonus hour. Uh, you can see there I'm picking them up at Publix, uh, which is a grocery store. So, um, you know, this is now going to potentially be the second grocery store pickup. The last one ended up working out for me. Like I said, the guy threw me 10 bucks uh, on top of a surge, on top of the bonus. Um, so we'll see if, um, you know, we can hopefully get compensated for this. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Uh, you can see here we're just heading... Uh, less than a mile up the street and the ride is only like a mile so uh, let's go ahead and pick this guy up drop him off and hopefully we got enough time for at least one more ride just dropped off anthony that dude was cool as hell he was telling me that he used to do ride share and um sorry i'm just backing out of his driveway here he used to do ride share and he stopped doing it now he does something called a viho I'm going to have to look that up where it's basically like meal prep deliveries. He says he goes to a warehouse. He picks up $80 to $100 worth of these meals. Takes him about two hours to deliver them all. And then he's done for the day. He says he does that part time. So I'm going to check that out. He says it's called Veho, V-E-H-O. If you've done that before, you know anything about it, definitely leave you know some feedback down in the comments. So this ride here I accepted before dropping him off this is going to be our last ride for this bonus hour i think this is either my fifth or my sixth ride if i'm not mistaken and we're going to go ahead and recap everything here once we uh, pick up and drop off this person here but overall it's been a pretty decent start to the night it's um just starting to get dark and um that guy had a bunch of groceries too so you know these grocery runs boy i mean normally you know trust me i'm not a fan of walmart runs Publix runs and stuff like that but you know instead of it being a four dollar ride if it's in a you know 10 11 12 dollar ride for just a couple miles you know i don't mind helping somebody out with their groceries you know what i'm saying it's it, it's all relative you know and these apps need to understand that because you know the customer experience you know i'm i'm a lot more willing to help somebody out with their stuff if i know that i'm getting you know decent pay for it same thing goes with the airport too you know a lot of these airport rides especially like going to the airport you know you're you're like literally lifting luggage and like the the audacity of these apps to you know only give you a couple dollars to take somebody to the airport and drive through terminals like i have you know rides pop in that you know, four bucks to go pick up and, you know, somebody at their house and then take them to the airport, wait in line through the terminal, open up my trunk. I mean, it's just ridiculous in every sense of the word. All right, just dropped that dude off. He was heading to a Halloween party and you can see here, uh, it is now 717. So that bonus hour uh, is behind us. There is some intense surge all down through downtown St. Petersburg, uh, down into St. Pete Beach. Not so much in Tampa, though. So you see, we're definitely in a good spot here. Uh, let's take a look at Uber. Pretty substantial. Let's take a look at what Uber is looking to offer. Now, I'm, I'm trying to go south here. Um, I'll go out to the beach, but I'm not looking to go north. Uh, so you can see here, uh, acceptance rate 31%. Let's take a look here. Uh, this is going to be probably only like a $2 uh, surge, if that. So let's get moving south here. 
let's see, where am I close to? I have to kind of pay attention here. I'm not 100% familiar with the area. 66th Street North. So we could take that. $5.37 for five miles. Nothing uh, too crazy there. I'm going to re you know reject that. So yeah, overall, it's been a pretty good night. We're like 60 something bucks in. Uh, and it's only been, you know, I've only been driving for like an hour and a half or so. Uh, if we take a look at some of the rides here, Uber X, uh, 1391 going up to uh, Clearwater Beach. No, thank you. Like I said, we're looking to go south right now. Uh, but you can see the uh, requests keep coming in. Uh, so if you see, we got a pretty good run uh, for that bonus hour. Let's see, how many do we get? We got one, two, three, four, five. It looks like we got five uh, additional $5 uh, payments there. So, I mean, it's basically like having a $5 surge on each ride, but you saw there's some of those I got a tip and some of them were sitting on surge as well. Uh, so let me go ahead. Let me get my seatbelt on. We're going to go ahead and we're going to head south here. Hopefully we can get a ride in that direction. Uh, Uber X share 1561 going like 19 miles and that has a surge on it. So that that's just ridiculous to me. And I've noticed that with Uber and Lyft, you know, the question becomes, is it, is it even a surge? Because, you know, if they're giving you additional money for a surge, but they're lowering down the base fare, uh, that's not really helping anybody. You know what I mean? That's, you know, you have to pay attention to these things. You have to pay attention to how many miles they're asking for you to go for, let's see, 625 for like six miles. Nah, that's not really that good. Was kind of going in the direction now this is a decent ride here i'm going to take that because it's going to downtown st pete this is only about a dollar a mile uh, we're going to go pick up Lindsay here but you saw the drop off there it's going to be dropping me off right down here right where it says grand central area okay and that area is likely to continue to surge throughout the night all right just drop Lindsay off here off of central avenue in downtown st pete all right, we just dropped off Lindsay here off of Central Avenue here downtown, and we are about to head east. Uh, you can see here on the map, we still got some surge. Uh, it is 7.40 p.m. Let's take a look at the lift map. And we are still looking like a pretty decent amount of surge. Let's go ahead and go online. I just have to be really careful because there are a lot of people walking around down here. Uh, and if I'm recording on my phone, even if it's in the holder or not, it's still, uh, you know, kind of distracting in a sense. So going back to last night. So last night was a good night. I uh, made roughly $260 total. Um, and then I spent probably another $25, $30 on gas, give or take. I drove about 140 miles. Um, and that was including some dead miles on the way back home. So it wasn't uh, a bad night, and I only drove for a handful of hours. I didn't drive very long. I did drive into an early part of the morning, but I started really late. I started like at 8 p.m. Uh, tonight, I'm getting uh, an earlier start, and it was mainly because of that um, that bonus hour. Let's see here. Uh, cool. She just left me a $3 tip as well. Uh, so that was ten eighty one dollars for 6.8 miles, and I drove another mile or two to get her or whatever. So it was okay. Uh, we're in a $3 zone here for Lyft. Uh, so, so far uh, today, 69 bucks for Lyft and another, what, 11 bucks for Uber. Uh, and it's not even 8 o'clock. So, we're getting close to 100 bucks. And I mean, I plan on driving till at least 3 a.m., uh, potentially uh, earlier. Uh, last night, um, I didn't end up going to bed until like almost 6 a.m. So, uh, that is not something I normally do, but I, you know, am making an exception here. Uh, because of, uh, you know, Halloween and, and some of the promotions here that they're running. And I want everybody out there who's watching this right now, uh, regardless of what my night ends up with, how much I make, this is not the reality of rideshare. There's a couple days of the year that uh, you can kind of count on this type of earnings. Uh, and anyone that's been driving for a long time know that these types of earnings, this is what it used to be almost every night. You know, uh, these apps, both Lyft and Uber, you know, I don't favor either of them. I think both of them are extremely greedy. Yes, they do provide opportunities for some, but overall, if you pay attention to what these riders uh, are essentially uh, paying for these rides, 
Um, I had one of my riders earlier say, you know, yesterday at around 6 p.m., it was like a 10-mile ride from the beach uh, to his condo, uh, and it was almost $100. And he said he asked the Uber driver how much he was getting, and he said 22 bucks. So here, especially in a touristy area, and I would assume in Orlando and some of these other spots, um, let's see, we're getting flared up here. So now a uh, $4 bonus zone. So I would assume in uh, the more you know highly trafficked um, tourist areas, uh, Uber and Lyft, they're, they're basically... Uh, cashing in even more. Their profit margins uh, are much more dramatic. Uh, $4.31 wait and save for about four miles going the opposite direction. Oh, look, they're looking to give it to me now. But at least now they're giving me the four fifty dollars bonus, but we're not going to go west. We're going to try to stay here uh, in downtown. Um, we're looking for the bar hoppers. That's really what makes uh, driving around St. Pete pretty good. Uh, it is still kind of early for that though. A lot of people are just kind of getting down here. You got to give it a couple hours uh, and then people will look to, you know, bar hop and they're only what a mile or two away up and down central, up and down first. Um, I mean, you could really start stacking uh, the earnings, especially with the surge. So uh, that's the game plan here tonight. Uh, and then going back to last night, I had a couple, actually three real interesting stories. So we'll talk about one of them here real quick. Now, the first one, kind of happened later in the night. Um, I went to go pick up uh, this dude, right? And, and sure enough, I was picking him up at a bar and, you know, five people uh, walk up to my car. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Now, it was ended up being a pretty good ride as far as the fare goes. I think it was like a $20 ride for like four miles or something like that. But as soon as he got in the car, now this ride I took because it was heading up north. Uh, it was heading up kind of towards the Gandhi Bridge from downtown St. Pete. And that's why I accepted the ride. And as soon as he gets in the car, he's like, hey, man, he's like, do you mind if I, you know, change the drop off? I said, yeah, that's no problem as long as it's going in the same, you know, kind of sort of direction that you've already mapped out. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, it is. No problem. No problem. So we start to kind of proceed. I start heading up north on 4th Street. Uh, he goes, OK. And, you know, he's submitting it on his phone. He submits it on his phone and it's in Bradenton. Right, which for those of you who know here in Florida, Bradenton is. I'm going to show you here on the map in a second where Bradenton is. This is a good ride here, eight dollars and thirty-eight cents for about what two and a half miles. Let's go ahead and take that one. Where's he at here? We're going to go pick up William uh, over on Central. I'm going to go ahead and make a right here. Um, we're going to hook a U-turn. Again, I got to be real careful here because of how uh, many pedestrians, uh, rightfully so, are on the road. So it was in Bradenton. Right, so I'm heading north. Bradenton is like he's looking at me, but he's not in a crosswalk, right? Yeah, look at me. I, I'm making a U turn, and you're not in a crosswalk. So, who, who's more in the wrong? So, let's take a look. I'm gonna show you where Bradenton is. So, here's the map. I picked him up in downtown St. Pete. His original drop off was up here, right? Gandhi heading towards Tampa, right? Here's Bradenton. Look, this is Bradenton all the way down here. Look, that's Bradenton, right? So he goes, after he submits, he goes, that's okay, right? And I'm like, no, it's not okay. So I'm like pulling off to basically kick him out of the car. And he's like, you're going to kick us out? I'm like, absolutely, I'm going to kick you out. I'm like, that's not what I signed up for. I'm like, this is an upfront market. I'm like, no hard feelings, but go ahead and hop out with you and your friends and request another Uber ride. There's drivers everywhere. No big deal. I'm not going to Bradenton right now. He proceeded to start cursing. And, you know, by the time he got out of my car, he spit on my window so, I mean, this is like the type of bullshit that you have to deal with, um, you know, when you are driving in these high uh, velocity, you know, type areas, especially on a holiday. So we're approaching here to pick up William. I'm not sure where he's at. It is really dark right here, but we are going to put our flashers on and we're going to wait for him. All right, just dropped William off. That dude was cool as hell. Um, he was... What do we got here? 538. Ugh, that's an easy ride. Shit. All right, let's take that. Screw it. I mean, it is going north, but it's literally a mile. So a mile for five bucks, that's five dollars a mile. I'll take that. But that William dude, he was cool. Um, he was just getting out of work and he was like, uh, he worked at one of the bars down there. I forget which one he, he named, but um, he's like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to go home and smoke a bowl. And he's like, I'm done with all these crazies. It's a full moon tonight. And it is a full moon tonight. The moon is is huge out there, uh, especially being, you know, Halloween weekend, full moon. It's really going to make a, a great mix of uh, emotions and whatnot for those of you who <laughs> study astrology and kind of know the, the meaning behind a lot of that. You, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Full moons uh, generally 
bring out the crazies. So we're gonna we're gonna have a fun and event filled night here. Just dropped them off. They were pretty cool. I did wait for them uh, for a few minutes. There, you saw. We're gonna go ahead and insert that uh, clip of the uh, decorated house uh, that was next door to them. That was pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at the map here. It is what 8 12 p.m. You see a lot of the surge has died out a bit, um, but we're getting ready for uh, that bar hopping kind of time of the night. I would think most people, you know, they're going to spend a couple hours. They probably got down uh, to downtown maybe like seven, eight o'clock. And then after a couple hours, they're looking to move. Um, so we'll see here. Um, and that's kind of what I'm, I'm betting on. Right now, I'm going to head to the gas station. I got to get something to drink. Um, I've been talking to all of the riders and, of course, making these videos. And I've literally got nothing. I finished off uh, the bottle of water that I had about three hours ago. So um, I'm going to go ahead and head to the gas station. Um, we'll take a little bit of a break here. As you can see, 83 bucks on Lyft so far and another $10.81 on Uber. So we're getting closer to that $100 mark here, and it's just after 8 o'clock. So, I mean, I should be able to hit at least 200 tonight, possibly 300 I don't want to set the goal too high because, you know, depending on how things play out, you know, I don't like to uh, count my chickens before they hatch. Um, I've got a full tank of gas still. Um, I've driven not many miles at all. Um, I'll have to look at my – I normally jot down what miles I started with. Um, and then obviously what I end with, and I take a picture of my fuel gauge just so um, I can get an idea of how much gas that I'm using. But even even on the busiest of nights, if I'm using, it only costs like $44 to fill up my tank. Even on the busiest of nights, like last night, for example, if I'm driving for several hours, I'm only using about half a tank worth of gas. I mean, and that's like maybe $20, $25 this car. And I've posted other videos and shorts and stuff showing the a Honda Accord that I have. It's a small four-cylinder. Uh, it's not a hybrid, uh, but it still gets, you know, 30, 35 miles a gallon. And I, you know, normally will post myself up and shut the engine off in between rides. Tonight is a little bit different. I'm going to stay mobile. I'm going to keep moving around. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and head into this gas station here, get something to drink, get something to eat. Uh, and we'll be back here, uh, hopefully, when we get another ride. And we're back. Got some snacks, got some drinks. Uh, you can see here we are off 22nd Avenue and 4th Street. We're going to go ahead and head back down to the Hornet's Nest, and that is downtown St. Petersburg. Uh, the surge is flaring up. Um, I haven't paid too much attention to what Uber is doing. Uh, we did take that one Uber ride. You can see here, um, you know, not much of anything, to be quite honest with you. I think Lyft has got them beat here, at least for now. Um, but I promise you, Uber will be surging later. Um, I normally uh, get my ride home with Uber. Um, Uber surge, even though we, and I've mentioned this here several times in my videos here in Tampa, and I know a lot of other regions now, they don't you know, have sticky surge pricing anymore, uh, meaning you don't really know uh, how much you're gonna get. Whereas here with Lyft, at least, you know, it says, you know, I'm gonna get at least $3 uh, Uber, you just kind of don't know. Um, so right now I'm in what a three dollar bonus zone here uh, for Lyft. Uh, Uber's not doing so much, um, and we are uh, going to pull over here. I've got like a little spot. Let's see, six bucks. Let's take that. That is behind me though, so I got to make a U-turn. But I will take that. Hopefully they give it to me. I don't know. Yep. Notice this app is lagging a bit here tonight. I would assume just due to. Uh, the sheer amount of volume, um, but let's make a U-turn here on 4th Street, um, and we're going to go back and grab this person here, um, and we're going to take them right down to where I was headed anyway, so uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, just dropped them off. They were really cool. They actually got out like two blocks before their, um, before their stop. They were like, hey, could we just get out here? So that was a short ride. I, I looked at it quick. It was about a mile and a half and it was six bucks i think and i think they just left me a tip let's take a look at that one here real quick so that was six dollars and 23 cents um it was a 3.23 plus a three dollar uh surge and that was less than three miles so it was about two bucks a mile uh it's super busy down here It is 
eight thirty seven p.m. The uh, I noticed the balance with um, with uh, Lyft doesn't update that quickly. Like um, I don't know. I think it's just because we're so busy here. Uh, last night I was completing rides and it wasn't updating, but it, you know it eventually did pan out. I went back through uh, and added everything up myself. Uh, let's take a look here. Uber, nothing at all. There is some surge. Wow, there's actually a lot of surge up here north, uh, up in Largo and close to Clearwater Beach. South Tampa here, you see a little bit of surge. Uh, overall, not really too much going on uh, on the Uber side of things. But right now I'm going to head to, uh, I got a couple uh, hideaway spots here in downtown St. Pete that I like to kind of chill at, kind of chill spots. Let's see, what do we got here? 16 32 with a four dollar surge uh going what 18 miles all the way back to tampa no thank you but yeah i've got a couple hideaway spots here uh in downtown st pete that i like to uh post up at uh that are kind of off the beaten path but um they do get you know pings to a lot of good rides so we're gonna head to one of those spots here um off second avenue and overall, I mean, things are just, uh, they're, you know, they're playing out pretty much as anticipated so far. I mean, it is still super early. We're still taking people into uh, the city. I'm, I'm looking around. A lot of people are um, getting out of Ubers. I always like to see, are they getting out of the Uber or are they getting into the Uber? Uh, a lot of people getting out of the Ubers uh, here downtown. Um, and we're waiting kind of for that first spike uh, of the bar hoppers. That's really what we're waiting for. Uh, overall, things have been really good uh, so far here today, uh, and I anticipate them to continue here as long as we can stay safe, as long as uh, a lot of the people who are uh, out don't get into any you know, serious mischief, because we did have an incident here uh, in St. Pete a couple uh, weeks back where there was a shooting. I'll see if I could find an article or something and, and put it on the screen or uh, at least link it below so you all can see. Uh, and that's not something you really hear and see much here in St. Pete. I mean, generally speaking, uh, the crowd is pretty tame. But if something like that were to happen tragically, um, it would really throw the night off big time because they end up having to close down roads for crime scene investigations and, and, and stuff like that. So we got to hope for the best. So we're going to chill here. Uh, we're going to wait for some rides here. You can see we are sitting on a $4 surge. Um, and we'll just go ahead and roll with it. All right, we got a Uber X share, five dollars and twenty-four cents, going I don't know, like seven miles. No, thank you. All the way down south to Gulfport. Um, actually, that wasn't Gulfport. That was uh, where is that? I'm not even too familiar with that area. Down towards Eckerd College, way down there. No, thank you. Trip radar nine ninety-six with a dollar boost included, going like thirteen miles. Uh, no, thank you. Somebody grab that right up. We're sitting right in the heart of St. Pete, like I mentioned, uh, with a $4 boost zone. Um, we're looking to really, I'm eating, sorry, I'm eating some some combos right now. But we're looking to, we're looking to move east-west, okay? So, you know, you get some rides that go out here, even if it's, I mean, I don't really want to go to the beach, but you can definitely get a ride back. But overall, you want to move east to west. Uh, north is okay, but you definitely don't want to go south, and you definitely don't want to start heading up here towards Largo. Uh, but yeah, east to west is where the money is made, up and down central. $6 Uber X share with a dollar boost going, I don't know, seven miles. Uh, it's not a terrible ride, but it's going out west. Um, we're not going to take that. So we are still getting pings. Let's see, we got a, uh, oh, this was a wait and save I was looking at. 831 for nine miles or so, going all the way out to Jungle Terrace, which is out by St. Pete Beach. No, thank you. I'm still sitting on a $4 boost zone, but you can see the uh, surge is now $2.50, meaning the next, you know, dumpster fire ride that they throw at me here, if I don't take it, it's going to lower down to $2.50. Ultimately, they're probably going to do their best to uh, get me off that $4 bonus zone. Another wait and save. A lot of people have been using these wait and saves. Uh, ride is no longer available. Um, a lot of people using wait and saves last night, especially like this whole area, this whole map was filled up with wait and saves. Um, and if you drive close enough to them, you'll get pinged. Or if sometimes if you go to look at them, even if you don't hit request match, if you just look at them, the algorithm thinks that you want it, um, and it'll throw it at you. And sometimes if they're short, I like to look, um, a little bit of a tip here. So if you're sitting on a surge or 
if you're looking to kind of stay in the area, look at the weight and saves that are like the $3 ones, you know, because if it's only three bucks, those are likely a, a short ride, two miles, one mile, three miles tops. And then you're going to also get the surge too, uh, if it pings it to you. $4, this is kind of far away though. I mean, it's not a terrible ride. I mean, if they give me the four bucks with that, I might take that. Let's see if they throw that at me. Um, it's going out wet. It's kind of going out a little bit too far west, though. I don't know. $20, where this going? Wow, man, 27 miles all the way up to Palm Harbor. No shot. No way I would take that. The problem is once you get up here, you know, Palm Harbor is just not... Where is Palm Harbor? It's all the way up here somewhere. Yeah, Palm Harbor. It's just not very populated. Once you get up there, I mean, you'd have to essentially, to, to seek many rides, you'd have to come down to Clearwater Beach. Um, you're just basically putting yourself just in a, in a bad spot at this time of night. I mean, this is the time of the night that you want to kind of be, you know, close to those major downtown areas, whether it be St. Pete, Tampa, Clearwater Beach, and you're essentially waiting, like I said, for those bar hoppers, or even if it's not the bar hoppers, you're waiting for those people who are starting to leave to go home. Uh, and as long as they live nearby, um, it's a quick ride for you. You pick them up, you take them home. So you're going to start to see that. Another thing too, I've got another one of those bonus hours here coming up uh, between 10 and 11. So a little over an hour from now, we're going to get ready for another power hour, if you will. Um, and I'm ready to go here. Uh, we did really well. I showed some of this already, but if you're just now paying attention, uh, let's take a look at some of the rides while we got a couple minutes. Uh, let's start down here. So that was the first ride. This is a guy. Oh, I'll tip you in the app. I'll tip you in the app. Now, 16 miles for 11.45. It is not a good fare by any means. The reason why I took it was, as you can see here, where I picked them up, it was taking me across the bridge. So I was willing to take a hit uh, on the ride itself, knowing that I don't have to pay for my gas going over the bridge. And I've learned that, you know, if I'm looking to go to St. Pete and I've had this, you know, happen in other videos, you, you got to kind of take what they offer you. So I took that ride. They were cool. They were two cool dudes. And I, I mean, I guess I still might get a tip. Um, but he was like, yeah, man, I'm gonna take care of you in the app. I'm gonna take care of you in the app. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, bro. Uh, 5, 11 PM. And it's now almost nine o'clock. Yeah. I haven't seen the tip. So we'll, we'll see, uh, if that tip comes through, uh, next ride here, you can see, this was kind of when that uh, that power hour started. I mean, these were all pretty easy rides. Uh, one of those dudes, I'm sitting on a $10 tip. He gave me, I picked them up at like a Save-A-Lot or some sort of, you know, small grocery store. Uh, I forget which one that was. So it was the ride plus the bonus hour plus an extra 10 bucks. I helped him with his groceries. Uh, and then there was another guy I picked up at a gas station or, or Publix or something, and I helped him with his groceries. That dude was pretty cool, too. So overall, I mean, pretty good. It's been all Lyft so far. Um, we've had one Uber ride. And in about an hour or so, I'm not even going to deal with Uber. I'm going to keep Uber off. So, you know, as far as whoever's making these decisions over here at Lyft, if they're looking to steal riders, excuse me, if they're looking to steal drivers uh, away from the other platform, if they're looking to get you know, people driving for Lyft over Uber, I mean, they're definitely succeeding here in this region. I can't say it's the same. I pay attention to some of the forums and the Discord and whatnot. Um, it's not the same in every region. So it really all depends. And I think it's even driver by driver. Some drivers get different bonuses. So it really all depends. So right now we're sitting on a $4 surge, uh, but you can see here, most of the demand has dried up, which means I'm probably going to be waiting a while for a ride and when they do decide to give me one when the demand does return it's probably going to be some you know nature hike out of the area in which i'm going to decline it and i'm going to lose my surge but again that's okay all right what do we got Let's see nine dollars and 23 cents going all the way down to pinellas point that is literally the most southern point of pinellas county i don't really want to go down there right now that's not a bad ride but i kind of knew that that's what they were going to do so now i'm going to lose that four dollar surge it's okay it's 8 53 p.m we're gonna chill for about an hour here probably gonna watch some uber jeep az he just posted a video um and then we're gonna go back online uh, right at 10 o'clock for that power hour this is my honda accord it's my baby 2016 four cylinder about 120,000 miles it's been good to me and i try to be good to it all right, we're back. It is just before 10 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and kick on Uber here. I want to show you all something I forgot to mention earlier. Look at this ride that they threw at me uh, back, what, at 6.44 p.m. <laughs> when I was doing 
uh, one of those rides in the power hour. $167.15 to go 246 miles from St. Pete all the way down to West Palm Beach. You can't make this shit up. Absolutely crazy. Obviously, I didn't take it. Uh, but that's the type of garbage that they throw us uh, here uh, down in uh, you know St. Pete area. I do get rides oftentimes down to Bradenton. I talked about that one earlier. Uh, but West Palm Beach, I mean, that's really far out. That's like an hour north of Miami, uh, just to give you an idea. Um, so anyway, so let's get rid of that. Um, we are uh, at $94.13 for Lyft and $10.81 for Uber. So what is that, like $104? And I have $10 in cash. So about $115 or so. Um, it is 10 o'clock. Let's go online now. So we're going to do our best here, just like we did for the first set, um, and try to take as many you know, relatively short rides as possible, two, three, four miles, five maybe, depending on where it's going, um, and try to knock out three, four, five rides here between 10 and 11 p.m. Last night when I kicked this thing on, there was surge as well. So tonight's a little bit different. Um, you can see here on the lift map, there's no surge uh, where I'm at, but there's heavy surge. There's actually a concert somewhere over here. I was reading about it. I forget who it was, but there is a uh, concert. Uh, let's see what this uh, wait and save is showing us here. So it's going $8.27 for about nine miles out to the St. Pete Beach area. Trip radar 943 for like 13 miles. It's just kind of garbage. Um, so yeah, there's a concert going on up in Clearwater. We're not going to Clearwater. But there's a lot of surge, just not in the uh, immediate area. There will be surge, though. I promise you that. What is this here? Wait and save 2137 going 34 miles uh, all the way out to Tampa. We're not going to do that, but somebody took it. Um, and we're just going to kind of wait it out here. Uh, we did really good on that first. I've shown this a few times now, but we'll go back through it. Uh, my online time for today is three hours. Now, most of that, I would say, was spent driving. Um, I was sitting here just chilling. Like I said, I was watching uh, some Uber Jeep AZ for the last hour. Just munching on some snacks, just chilling over here. Um, but we did a pretty good job here, I would say. If we didn't get the surge, we got the ride bonus. Uh, another trip radar here. Uh, $8.26 going a little over eight miles. Uh, no thank you. But yeah, we did pretty pretty decent here. Um, and we can just hope for the best on this next set here. Uh, let's see. So wait and say $5 uh, bonus. Let's see if it'll if it'll give that to us. That is kind of ways away, but it's coming right back down to central where we want to be anyway. Uh, it says pending. Let's see if it'll give that to us. Um, and at least get things kicked off here. Let's see. Average weight for 136 rides over the last hour. No longer available, so someone else grabbed it. Oh, shucks. Um, but yeah, last night was crazy. I told you the one uh, story of the dude spitting on my car. Um, I've had a lot of uh, riders tonight too, but last night really specifically with all of the costumes, as you all know, with you know girls, it, it's really an excuse for the girls to dress as slutty as they possibly can, and this year is no exception. So, you know, you put myself in kind of sort of a tough situation and any drivers kind of know what I'm talking about especially with the ladies late night early morning when they've been drinking but now you've got girls that are getting in the car late night that have been drinking that are wearing pretty much no clothes you know so we'll talk more about this as the night rolls on but uh, yeah I definitely had some girls last night that you know were asking to come up in my front seat and you know kind of do a, a certain thing with me and you know I had to resist my my urges eight dollars one cent trip radar uh going about nine miles no thank you so we're still waiting let's keep an eye here on the map for lift oh yeah take another look at this here how satisfied are you with driving with uber i got one from lift the other day as well to my inbox uh, my actual email inbox saying that they were going to give me uh, you know, two hundred and fifty dollars or something like that. If I completed a survey where I would be entered into some sort of drawing 
to get $250. And I clicked on it and I went into it and it's asking all sorts of questions about healthcare and all this. That's going to, you know, do you, do you do ride share with just Uber or Lyft and Uber or, you know, it's, it's like asking a lot of, I don't want to call them necessarily personal questions. I understand it's a survey, but yeah, I mean, some of them are kind of personal questions. So I just clicked off that shit. I don't, I don't need no $200 gift card. All right. So it is 10, 12, still have not gotten a single ping last night. This exact window of time between 10 PM and 11 PM, I started to get a lot of rides here, even with that $5 power hour tonight. Not so much pretty clearly, at least not yet. Every minute that ticks by is a minute less that we're able to essentially cash in. But I'm just sitting here and I'm watching one after another. I don't have the rider app pulled up, but, you know, Uber, Lyft, Uber, Lyft, even a lot of the SUVs more so than I saw last night. So I don't know. And for me, I'm out for the long haul. I'm going to be staying out till 2, 3, 4 a.m. Potentially even later. I don't know. Um, it's just a matter of time before we start getting a lot more pings that take, um, you know, those uh, people that are. Uh, looking to go home back up and out of the area like this ride for example $13.16 I'm not taking that right now but you know when a Lyft driver goes and picks them up they're essentially out of the area um, the more of those that we get the less and less drivers are going to be left here ultimately leaving you know all the rides for me I mean ideally that's what we want and there is another power hour here you see there that late night one I've got the alarm set um, pretty much at midnight to one. I anticipate that one's going to be really good because normally, whether there's a bonus or not, that's normally where kind of the night gets, you know, started. A lot of people start either going back home or, like I mentioned earlier, that bar hopping continues when people are hitting that second and third bar. What do we got here? Seventeen dollars and five cents, going twenty-five, twenty-six miles. Trip radar for Uber. Seven dollars and eight cents going like six miles. Okay, N nothing too crazy there. Let's decline that. So I noticed here's another one. S wait and save. Let's take it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Take it. Give it to me. I'm right here. I'm like a block away. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, cool. All right, so let's get them and we'll. What is that three dollar ride matched? I'm not sure what that means. All right, that was a real easy one. Just dropped off Mary and her two friends at some coffee bar or something like that all dressed up for Halloween and we're gonna go ahead and kind of sort of head back to where we were um, that was um, that was a wait and save so that you saw that there it, you know it sat for pending three dollars and 43 cents plus the five bucks so eight dollars and 43 cents to go I don't know how many miles was that so yeah it was like 1.21 miles for six bucks I mean that's you can't you can't beat that so we want more of those. It's already 10.30. We've only had one. Um, while I was driving them, I had two rides ping in, but both of them were going to Tampa for like, you know, 20 miles. We're not doing that. We're looking to obviously keep them short as I continuously harp on, as we all know. Um, so we'll wait and see here. Hopefully we get something immediately uh, and we can kind of chain them together. Let's see another wait and save. Let's see. Uh it's not a bad ride, but I don't want to go south. Like I said, east, west, or north, I'm, I'm cool with. I don't want to go south. And the reason for that is because those roads down there are really, really bad. Like, I drive my car. I'll, I'll go ahead and post uh, a video here real quick of the car that I drive, and it's also on my YouTube banner. But my car sits really low to the ground. And down there in uh, south St. Petersburg, most of the roads, and if you live down there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They are like gravel and they've got ruts and, you know, it's just a really bad time. I actually fear, especially with the sport tires that I have, I have summer tires that um, I could get stuck, especially, you know, pulling down through some of these alleys, uh, people that request rides down there. Um, I'm just not too familiar with the roads down there. So, yeah, we're going to leave that one off. We could have taken that one. That was a decent ride, but I just don't want to go south right now, east, west or north. <laughs> We might as well just kick back on Uber here real quick just to see what they're offering. Uh, probably not going to take any rides, but come 11 o'clock when this uh, power hour ends, we'll uh, be opening back up to pretty much anything that's decent here. Uh, you can see 102.56, uh, you know, sitting at about, what, 125 with some cash tips. Overall, not too bad of a night here. we still got many hours left. Trip Radar, this is not a bad ride. $4.39 for... 
you know, two, two and a half miles or so. It's about $2 a mile. It's not bad, uh, but we can do better on Lyft if they give us a ride. Another trip radar going to Tampa Bay, 1695 for, man, 28 miles. That is, and that's with a boost too. Look, somebody just takes that right away, boy. Look, if you live up in Tampa, more power to you take it. But I hope people aren't taking that ride to go up to Tampa to turn back around to come back to St. Pete because you are just crazy if you're doing something like that. Um, you know, if that's somebody as a driver that, you know, is heading back home, you know, it might be me come 4 a.m. to take something like that. But overall, it's just really, really poor uh, dollar per mile, especially on a night like tonight where, you know, a lot of the money is still on the table. You know, people are still having fun. They haven't left the bar yet. You know, a lot of the money's made, most of the money's made when people are leaving the bars, right? We we aren't even there yet. It's only 1030 Four dollars and thirty nine cents. That's not a bad ride. Um, what is that? Two and a half miles. It's not bad. I probably would have taken that if we weren't waiting on lift here a little bit. So you know, I am losing some opportunities here potentially, um, but I'm not really putting any miles on my car. I'm just kind of rolling down the street here. Like I said, I'm going back to the same area that I was uh, before picking up that ride. So yeah. So talking about earlier, uh, we'd kind of left off with some of those girls and my idea with. Um, let's see another ride here going to Indian Shores. That's out to the beach. That's that's not a bad ride for 16 bucks. Um, but yeah, I had um, several times last night two specific rides where you know you're dealing with girls that are you know heavily intoxicated. You're dealing with girls that are pretty much naked. I mean, a lot of these girls are naked for the most part. You know, wearing uh, next to nothing. You just got to be really careful. 888, uh, nine and a half miles uh, going to um, Edis Walk. That's not really close to here at all. Uh, but you just got to be really careful. You know, I, you hear these stories and, and you got to think when girls are intoxicated, man, they don't know what they're they don't know what they're signing up for. They don't know what they're doing or saying. 711. Where is that going? I can't even. 22nd Street North. That's not a bad ride, but I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to not, you know, I'm trying to not fly out of the area. Bear with me here. I'm kind of driving through, you know, massive amounts of traffic and, and pedestrians here. So I'm trying to look through all this stuff. So this is not a bad one either. I'm just going to try to pull over here on the side where I can actually spend a second and, and look at some of these rides. I think that's the most challenging thing with driving. And I, and I know the apps know what they're doing. You know, you've got people that are driving around and that's, so that one blinked off pretty quick. And that's one of the things that I always say too, these apps do their best to kind of take advantage of you. And I know it's there, there, there's a time sensitivity there with people who are requesting rides. They obviously want to pick be picked up. But you know, the app, both Uber and Lyft, Lyft, for example, it doesn't even let you look at the ride or text somebody if you're moving, right? So so the app knows that you're moving. Same thing with Uber, it won't let you take a picture of yourself when it requests when you're moving. So the apps know when you're moving. However, they're quick to send you shit rides when you're moving and they know that you can't say, you know, you can't sit there and read it, you know? They know they're pulling something over your eyes there. 1597 for about 17 miles. It's getting a little bit better. That rider was 4.87. That rider was 4.87, which is not good. But these apps know uh they know what they're doing. I guess is my point with that. Um overall, it's just one of those situations where you have to, um, you know, you have to either take what they give you or you need to spend the extra time to read what they give you and then you're fully responsible for that ride. You can't sit here, just take anything and then complain about it. You, you need to actually be able to sit here, take a look. Easiest way to do that is just to kind of pay attention to how many miles the total trip is, not only for pickup, but also for drop off. And then you could kind of move from there. Trip radar 794 going seven miles, grabbed up very quickly there. Uber X 483 with a dollar boost going five miles down to uh, 13th Street Heights. I'm too familiar where that is. It's down here somewhere. Yes, I'm still online. Please put me back online. Oh, yeah, that was another thing, too. Um, when I'm driving, especially, and you'll see here, come the end of the night when the trip radars are just flooding your screen 
that message just popped up. Are you still online? Let's say I've got trip radar at the bottom and it's got five trip radars in the queue. And I'm trying to look through those trip radars to figure out which one I want to take. If it pings me a ride in between when I'm looking and I get that message that you just saw there, are you still online? It wipes away all of those rides that were in the trip radar for me. So that message there, and and I've had videos, and I know those of you who drive Uber, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They've had times where even if you decline one ride, it kicks you off and gives you that message. Is just ridiculous. There's no reason to have that. Lyft has actually done away with that. They used to have something similar to after a couple rides it would kick you off. I haven't been kicked off of the Lyft app and I can't even tell you how long. Uber, in my opinion, they at the very least, when you go back online, they need to repopulate that trip radar because we're losing out on the opportunity. They are too on a driver matching up with some of those rides. And generally speaking, the trip radar are rides that other people have either you know canceled, can't get to, 1362 uh, going like 22 miles. That's that's a really poor ride going up to Largo. Largo's all the way up here. Now, mind you, Largo is surging pretty hard right now. Actually, really hard. All the drivers are down here. What is this? UberX share, no way. 2271 going like 35 miles up to Temple Terrace. That's up there by where USF is. You know, again, I mean, it's taking you up, and that's probably why it's sending it to you. It's, it's trying to get drivers. You see what it's trying to do? It's trying to get drivers out of this area, and I guarantee you, when you get up to this area after taking that ride, there's not going to be any surge. You know, it's it's showing you what it wants to show you. Right now, most of the drivers, rightfully so, are down here in downtown St. Pete. They're probably also in downtown Tampa. You see very light surge, and it's going to do its best to try to get you to these areas. But then when you get there, that surge is going to go away. Wait and save, twelve twenty nine with the five dollar bonus. So what, seventeen twenty nine to go seventeen miles? That's a dollar a mile, even with the bonus. No way. Trip radar, fifteen dollars and fourteen cents. Fifteen dollars and fourteen cents. Four point eight seven rider snatched up almost immediately. Eight dollars and thirty two cents. They must be literally right around the corner from me. Zero point three miles. Um, going to MLK. No, thank you. $8.72. That's not a bad ride. Um, if I was looking to kind of head north, go back home, potentially, yes, but just now is not the time for that. I mean, I guess the best way to think of this is I'm not, and I, and I don't mean this in a pompous way, I'm in no desperate need of money. You know, like I want to do this because I enjoy driving. $5.09 with a dollar bonus for about five miles. You know, I'm in, I'm not in any type of desperate need for money this is a really good ride i should almost uh, i should probably take that but i'm not going to because i'm really waiting to cash in for lyft i mean lyft might be screwing me here but we'll, we'll see um but i'm not in any desperate need for money you know i mean i do this because i like driving i like meeting new people on a night like tonight, I'm completely cool sitting here. I'm basically in a park right now with my windows open, just chilling, watching people walk by in their Halloween costumes, having a good time. You know, I'm, I'm totally okay sitting here, kicking out these rides, only taking the ones that I want, only taking the ones that are most profitable, not using very much gas and putting very few miles on my car. These are the things that are kind of going through my mind right now. You know, thankfully, I have, you know, other sources of income. Now, if I was somebody who was doing this full time, who relied on this income, then yeah, these are good rides to take for sure. You know, you could definitely make some additional money. Look at this crap going, going again. Did they even, I don't even think they sent me three rides in a row with that. Uh, Uber is just uh, pissing me off. $9.85 uh, going about nine and a half miles. So it's just, everything is a dollar a mile, which as I always say, a dollar a mile should be your absolute bare minimum. $20 to go 34 miles. No way. Eight, nine eighty five. That's the one that we just saw, I believe. Uber is just pumping out dollar a mile stuff, even with surge. Six forty five for eight miles, twenty dollars and fourteen cents. I think that's that same one again. Nine eighty two going west to Fourteenth Avenue. Not eight miles. See, they're getting a little bit better. You see, that's a little bit better than a dollar a mile. But dollar a mile is my absolute bare minimum. 
uh, with the exception of, you know, if I'm needing to go home or something like that, uh, or I need to get to a specific destination, I'll, I'll just take whatever I can get if Uber or Lyft are going to pay my gas. Uh, but you really shouldn't be taking anything that's less than that. You need to set yourself up. And I think I'm going to look into it. 994 for about 10 miles going to Treasure Island Beach. Not a bad ride, but we're not taking that. There, I have to look into it. I've been seeing people send me messages about the Para app, P-A-R-A, where you could set it up. And I don't know if it's for iPhone. It may only be for Android. Uh, let's see, Beller Bluffs, 1462. We should really be keeping an eye here on the map for Lyft. This way, if we get a wait and save, we can select it. But it's called Para, and apparently you can set it up with different parameters to link into your Uber and Lyft account. $22 wait and save. We're not taking that anyway. Um, and it'll basically auto decline rides if it doesn't meet certain criteria. Like if you set $1.50 a mile or $2 a mile, it'll auto decline them until something that meets that criteria pops up. So I'm going to look into that. Um, there's probably a monthly charge. I would assume so. They're not going to offer that type of service for free. Usually what ends up happening with apps like that is they've got some sort of partnership uh, integrated with Uber or Lyft, or they've had devs that used to work for Uber or Lyft leave them and start their own company. You know, it's it's got to be something like that, but I'm going to look more into it. It's called Para, P-A-R-A. If you know anything about that, definitely leave a comment below uh, if you are using that. Uh, yes, here we go again. Go back online, please. 30% acceptance rate. So we're going to keep an eye on the map here. We're only 15 minutes out. We've only had one I mean, we could have had more. I did decline a couple decent rides that were going down south for my own personal reasons. But we've only taken one ride here uh, in this hour, uh, which is going to leave us from 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. to just take whatever. And then from 12 to 1, there's going to be another power hour. Uh, and then from that onward, is like the area is likely to be surging out at that point uh, based on my experience. 983 uh, going... 10 and a half miles up to um, CVS. Is that what that said? CVS? All right, 751 going six and a half miles out west. We're seeing if we we're able to get this wait and save here. Matching in progress. Let's see if we get it. No longer available. Damn it. 25 miles for 1885 going to Tampa. You know, these, these rides ping at Tampa. This tells me that people are starting to leave already, even before 11 p.m., which is kind of early. Normally, you don't start seeing that until, you know, midnight, 1230, 1 a.m., but people are definitely getting ready to head out here, head back home to Tampa, or maybe they're looking to party on both sides of the bay. They're, you know, they've gone ahead and done what they're going to do out here, and they're going to, you know, head out to Tampa. Tampa, wow. Take a look at the whole map here. It's not a bad ride five dollars and 63 cents going about four miles but yeah i mean there's a lot of surge i mean i think most metropolitan areas tonight are oh shit did not mean to do that you see this app fuck this app bro seriously they always be doing some shit to make you touch stuff I, i'm gonna cancel this 563 maybe we should just take it all right i'm just gonna take it. i'm gonna keep an eye here on lift because i mean we've only got another 10 minutes left as much as i want to take that lift ride or, you know, because of the bonus. Let's see if, if something else pings in between now and when I get to this guy. Oh, here we go. Look. Oh, well, we're not taking that to Tampa. Um, then I'll cancel it. I'll drive really slow. But let's see here. Um, let's go pick up Rob. $5.63. It's not a far ride. I'm, I'm picking him up right over here, and we're going, like, two or three miles. I, I But you see what I'm saying? Like, I understand they're trying to show you rides, but they show you rides when they want to show you rides. They kick you off when they want to kick you off. And then it's like, you know, I literally just flipped back onto the app and, you know, my finger grazed the screen. There's no reason why they shouldn't have. And I, I know even like different regions, you have like a slider. Like I know out in California, like if the ride pops up on your screen, you have to slide to accept. Or instead of the entire screen filling up, like that trip radar basically turns your entire screen uh, into a touchpad, right? What is this, 723 for nine miles? That's not a bad ride, but it's, look, it's going so far away, you know? So what's happening tonight, based on what I'm what I'm kind of assessing here, is people are leaving earlier. Last night, 
all these rides that are leaving the area, they weren't leaving the area. They were staying. People were bar hopping. They were going all down in here. Tonight, the rides that are coming through, I mean, yeah, I could accept those rides, but it's going to be taking me way up and out of the area. So we're going to pick this dude up. Look, he's not even near. Okay, so this might work out for us because I'm just going to go to the pin and I'm going to cancel his ass. But um, let me go ahead and end this recording for now. These people are just honking because they're literally dressed up in a Jason mask in the back of a pickup truck driving through the city streets. They're not honking at me. But um, I'm going to go right to the pin here. And if he's not there in two minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and cancel it anyway. All right. I ended up canceling that ride. I, I rounded the corner. If he, if he would have been at the pickup location, I would have picked him up. But I did get a lift ride uh, just going a couple miles with the boost. It's going to be like 11 or 12 bucks. Uh, provided the dude is at the location. The, the whole downtown area, as expected, is just a clusterfuck, basically. Um, there's cops everywhere, as normal, blocking off roads, and it's just it's just a nightmare. The normal areas that uh, you pick up people here in downtown are blocked off, so it's just one of those things where, as much as I uh, don't mind driving down here, it's, it's looking like the night's going to get uh, kind of difficult. So what we're doing is we're going to pick this person up. It's one of those east-west... Uh, rides. Okay, so we're going to pick them up. We're going to go west and we're going to drop them off. We're going to make like 13 bucks. All right, we just dropped off Travis. That dude was cool as hell. Um, but yeah, that, that Uber ride, I should have, you know, I accepted it by accident to begin with. I shouldn't have even headed towards the destination, but um, uh, they weren't helping themselves. So for that power hour, I only made an extra 10 bucks. Could have been a little bit more, but you see here we're surging now. This is a good ride. Seven bucks for about a mile and a half, two miles. Uh, let's pick them up here. This is a good one. So we're starting to see the product of, um, let me see here if I can turn here. So we're starting to see the product like right at 11, the whole area started to surge. So what ended up happening is right when that power hour ended, Everybody that was driving for Lyft flipped off their app. You know what I mean? And then, there, you know, thusly, we started to see surge. So even though we're not in the, um, you know, the $5 hour, um, everything is pretty much surging out. So we're going to go pick up uh, this individual. I didn't see the name at Salon uh, and take him like a mile for like seven bucks. So I'm just waiting for this dude here. I'm pulled over at a Sunoco gas station. You see, I'm, you know, I'm right where uh, the pickup location is okay coming. Tonight, I mean, really, I've noticed tonight it's just really bad with, with you know, people ordering rides, not being with their, where they need to be. Last night was, I don't want to say it was easy, but I, I didn't have any of this. This is like, what, two out of three rides now where these people aren't where they're supposed to go. Um, usually the way I handle this is, you know, after about two, three minutes, I don't, you know, Lyft doesn't pay enough for a cancelization fee. Um, after about two minutes, if they don't respond or they're not at their pickup, I usually just cancel it and move on, especially on a busy Friday or Saturday night. This dude messaged me. He's been on the platform for like seven years. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, but, you know, it's just ridiculous. You see here the location. I don't know how accurate that is, but he's like literally walking in the wrong direction. So we're probably going to end up canceling this one as well. All right. I ended up waiting like another 30 seconds or so after I hung up with that last recording and he was waving at me from across the street. So I waited for him and he said he was going to tip me in the app. Yeah, right. Let's see if that happens. But that was an easy ride. It wasn't far at all. We're driving down some bumpy roads here. So uh, if you hear uh, my keys clanking back and forth, that's what it is. So that was, let's see what this is here. 1036. This ride has a stop. Absolutely not. Um, let's see. So $3 bonus. There's a lot of people tonight out on golf carts. I, I mean, normally I see some golf carts, but tonight, you know, and I wonder too, you know, how many rides these golf carts and these buses around here are stealing from us because they're, they're seasonal here in St. Pete. There's also a ferry too, that goes from, uh, the Tampa convention center, uh, over here to downtown St. Pete. And that just started back up like two weeks ago. So between the ferry the buses, the golf carts, like how many rides or how many of those people that are using those services um, that would normally Uber or Lyft? I mean, I would assume a good percentage of them, right? If they're trying to get around town and they don't have a car or they're drunk or whatever. So tonight I'm seeing like golf carts all over the place and they've got people in them. And I and somebody told me that it's free. You just tip the guy. He's got a golf cart. You know, these people live in these houses over here and they just got a golf cart. It's like one of those bigger ones that have, 
you know, seats in the back. They could probably tote like six people around without plates on them. They just drive around town. Cops don't even care. So, I mean, maybe I'll just get a golf cart. You know, maybe I'll sell my Accord and, and buy a fucking golf cart. All right. So I'm just chilling here in like this uh, kind of residential community over here. Um, which street is this? 22nd or something like that. 26th. Um, and you know, you can see here after that, uh, that power hour ended boy, like I mentioned, everybody flipped off their lift app. Um, and we are seeing some intense surge. Um, all of this down here is just completely gridlocked. There's cops that are blocking off roads right now. Normally downtown St. Pete isn't too bad. Even last night, it's not too bad with picking people up. Even if it's really busy tonight, I can already sense it's, it's, it's really bad, uh, for any type of, uh, you know, person that's looking to get picked up. So we're going to kind of, if we can, we're going to stay away from at least down over here east um, and try to just manage out here uh, at least till the main uh, rush gives out. Let's see what Uber's doing here. Uh, what is this? Let's go back. Let's see where we're at. So uh, yeah, even Uber's starting to surge. We're going to try to not touch the screen here. Trip radar, multiple stops, no. Um, let's see here. Let's go back. 550 bonus four dollars let's see what this is let's see if it gives it to me that's going right to the hornet's nest but let's see if i'll take that if it gives it to me that's not far from here 849 uber x going about nine and a half miles it's not a terrible ride but we're not taking that trip radar six bucks for four miles all right, now that's a decent ride. Look at that, eight bucks, straight shot. Boom, let's do that one. Easy money. Let's go get her. Tubular tokes. Let's go get, let's go get her at tubular tokes. All right, I just dropped them off. It is an absolute shit show down here. I don't know if you can see all this. I don't know, something just happened. Look at this place. All right, so we're gonna, we got another ride here. It's going up north. Hopefully I can get her because um, this area here just in general is just really, really jam packed. I'm trying to not kill myself here. Let's see if I can make a left turn. Thank you, buddy, appreciate you. Left turn, left turn, left turn. All right, so yeah, we're gonna pick her up here. Um, let's see who we're dealing with. Angelica. Wow, 1,100 rides, boy. She is definitely, she's no noob. We'll leave it at that. Hi, I'm in the right in front of the Williams Park Hotel. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this recording because it's absolute chaos out here. And there's a guy. Here you go. Here's what we're dealing with right now. Look, we got somebody in a wheelchair in the middle of the road. Look, it's a green light. Look, I don't know if you can see. It's a green light. All right, just dropped off Angelique. That was, without a doubt, best ride of the night. She was so sweet. She was waiting for me there um, by herself. She had an altercation in the bar that she was at. And um, poor thing, you know, I just took her home. And it is crazy down there. And I, I went ahead and I, I hopefully put in that clip of the homeless dude in a wheelchair in the middle of the road. Okay, that was what the um, ambulances and all that stuff were rushing towards because, um, it, you know, people were saying he was trying to kill himself. I, I rolled down my window there. Um, but, yeah, it was just absolutely crazy uh, tonight. And, you know, I'm sure many other metropolitan areas alike. I mean, it is just nuts. Full moon uh, and all. So let's head back down. What is this here? Lift 1237 going, I don't know, 12 miles. So, look, I mean they're giving surge that one was a pretty good ride let's look at that one real quick what was that uh ride what did that end up being so it's 352 plus 750 so that was a 750 bump for like three miles i mean that was a good ride there that, that was no problem she was right where she was supposed to be so let's head back down into the hornet's nest uh we are on mlk right now heading south let's go ahead and kick on uber Let's see. All right, we got Surge, so let's see. Uber is just, it's kind of, 
I don't like to use the word intimidating, but like, especially when you're driving, especially when I'm trying to record, you know, they just throw too much shit at you at once, you know, and I get it. There's a lot of rides coming through, but as we demonstrated earlier, they, in my opinion, they, they know exactly what they're doing. Wow. That's a good ride. Look at that. 750 for, what is that? A mile and a half. Let's take that one. Holy shit, that's a good ride. All right, let's uh, let's go back to lift. I mean, that's kind of a crap ride. So let's go ahead and let's get offline here. Um, so yeah, this is a good ride. You saw that, like seven something for like a mile and a half. Let's go pick this dude up. He's at J-Wags. I know exactly where that is. Uh, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, so we just dropped him off and I accepted another ride that pinged in. The surge must be really strong because that you saw was what, a mile and a half for like eight bucks. This one is another one that's like a mile and a half for like 10 bucks. Uh, so we're going to get Zach um, going like what, one mile to get him and like 0.6 or something to take him to his destination. Um, I don't think it's downtown. I have to look here. Let me look where I'm actually going here. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pick him up at his house. That's like a residential area. All right, we just dropped off those uh, lovely people there. Wow, look at the surge, 1475. Your reminder to drive. So 2225. Look at that at the bottom there. They had some $25 surges last night, but I didn't catch them. Yeah, hell no, I'm not taking that. I'm not. I'm not leaving this area. Are you kidding me? So yeah, 2225. Let's see what uh that last one was 989. So that was those two rides. Uh let's see. I gotta get out of here though. People are gonna start climbing in my car, even though it's not them. But I'm assuming I'm gonna get rang here for another ride. Man, 22. And wait, I'm should be getting look, another five. See, I wonder I would take that for sure if it gives it to me. See, I don't know what the wait and save, like, yes, it'll give me the $5, but is it going to give me the 22 if I request a match for that? See, I don't know. I've never tested that. Let me know in the comments below um, if that is true. I mean, I would take that too. I mean, $12 plus $22.50, that'd be like a 30 something dollar ride for five miles. So yeah, let's see. Do I even dare turn on Uber right now? Because it's just going to flood me. Twenty-one. Wow, man, it is crazy right now, boy. Wow. Let me show you where I'm at real quick. Wait, hold on. What's it giving me? No, I'm not leaving the area like that. I gotta charge my phone too. Oh, look at that. That's gotta be a record. Look at that. Let me screenshot that. Twenty-five. I don't know if I got it. Twenty-five bucks. Look at that. Let's go get Quinn. It's like 25 bucks for two miles. Man, this is nuts. They definitely don't have enough, <laughs> enough drivers down here. All right, let's go get Quinn right up the street here at uh, Macintosh. It's like right up the street, literally. All right, just dropped them off. This is absolutely crazy. Um, I've got another ride here. Uh, it's like 26 bucks for a mile, I think. Um, it's just absolutely chaos down here. I mean, as anticipated, we knew tonight was going to be busy, but I mean, this is just crazy here. All right, just dropped them off. That was actually, I had driven them to that bar, did a few runs, and then I just picked them up again, that dude, Travis. I just have another ride here. Uh, this is like a $25 surge. I think I might even tell you here. Yeah, 3109, picking them up at AMC Theaters. Uh, and this is a $25 surge. So we're pretty much maxed out here. I did not see anything last night go over a $25 surge. So I'm interested to see if, and I even mentioned on, uh, I think one of Uber Lyft Nick's videos today, you know, that, you know, we now know what the surge is capped at because I haven't seen anything over 25. So we'll see here tonight. I mean, this is all time high demand down here in downtown St. Pete. We're going to pick them up and we're taking them just like a mile north. It's like a two mile ride or so. All right, just dropped that rider off, Will. Uh, really cool. Um, that was actually further than I thought. I had accepted it really quick. I thought it was only like two miles. It ended up being six miles. So that was, what, a $6 ride plus a $25 surge. You see, that's the ride that I just did. 
uh, plus, what was that, another five bucks, right? So that was a $36 ride for six miles. The one before that, let's see if I'm looking at it here. So that was a $3.23 ride plus 18 plus five. I mean, these rides are just crazy. I'm not I'm not used to this here. I mean, this is really good. Uh, and then the one before that was, what, 308 plus 22.25. So, I mean, I'm up at 238 right now on uh, Lyft and then on Uber, another 28. So what? I'm like two. I'm pretty much at what I made last night. I've got uh, fifteen dollars total in cash tips. Uh, another dude gave me five bucks, um, and we're heading back down. So I'm actually probably gonna. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna wrap up this recording, but we're gonna see when I kind of get down there. It is just chaotic. I, I want to make sure I'm paying attention to what I'm doing down there, uh, and we'll definitely bring updates if we can. But um, right now it's twelve thirty-seven. Definitely have another three hours left of driving, if not more. All right, we're driving back down. As you can see here, we are still in a uh, $5 bonus hour. Let's go ahead and go online to see what they give us. Let's see, 1834, no thank you to Tampa. We're not taking that. Um, but it is approaching 1 a.m., so a lot of people are going to be going back home. 1411 for 11 miles, no thank you. Uh, let's see how close we can get. 2428 for 25 miles. That's not even, that's just like a dollar a mile, even with the surge. That's no good. Um, I mean, we're kind of spoiled now because we've tasted greatness. You know what I mean? And a couple $25 a mile rides, pretty much. Uh, you see all these weight saves down here. So we're going to see 1625 going nine miles. It's not terrible but that's only $2 a mile. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, park ourselves 22.23 for 20 miles. No, thank you. Boy, my acceptance rate's going to be uh, 1% by the time we're done with this. 16.37 for about 10 miles. No, thank you. What else we got? Come on now. Another one out to Tampa, 27.36. Man, come on, give me a short ride, goddammit. That one's not too bad. That's eight miles for 1934. Come on. Let's get something here. What is that? 20 bucks for 11 and a half miles. No, thank you. $27 for 22 miles. There's cops everywhere, boy. Everywhere. $19 for nine miles. Nope. Come on. Let's get another good one here. Let's see, like a three mile for 20 bucks or something like that. $29 for 25 miles. Hell no. Man, there are people that are taking this shit, you know? Like, I mean, more power to them if they live up there. But let's see. Am I going to get throttled now? What is this here? Gotta try to not run anybody over here. There's people everywhere. We're getting closer to the uh, to central. All right, what's this here? Seventeen bucks. All right, let's take that. That's plus a five. That's plus five dollars too. All right, I should have just turned there. God damn it. It's all right. All right, let's go ahead and get them. You saw here. This is um. And I looked at it quick. It's like $17 for just a couple miles plus another five. This is probably going to be the last. I mean, $5 just seems like like nothing when you're talking, you know, $17, $20, $25 surges. Um, but we also, let's see here. What is this, four minutes away? So, yeah, so this is just like a mile away. So let me go ahead and grab this one, and we'll take a look at the ride when we're done. All right, so just drop that dude off now interesting because he got in the car and he was kind of talking to himself a little bit and he said man I don't know if I should have paid this much for a ride that's only going like a mile which is that was the case that was like uh you know like I picked him up and I went about a mile to his house and I was like well if you don't mind my asking you know how much did you pay and he said fifteen dollars I made more they definitely lift lost money on that ride because I made more than fifteen dollars taking him you know to where he needed to go so i mean lift between 
all of these surges and the additional $5, I mean, they're, they're losing money tonight, at least on me. You know, some of those other rides that you see coming through there that I'm declining that are, you know, 20 miles for 22 bucks and stuff like that. Those they're you know, they're still probably making money on those, but, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. I wanted to share that. So we're four minutes away. This is another ride. Um, that noise that you keep hearing is my keys slapping against the side the side of my steering wheel because these roads down here i'm down here in south uh st petersburg like i mentioned the roads are just absolutely horrible this one here isn't too bad it's like a nine dollar surge i mean it's like a 13 dollar ride for like three miles or something like that so the surges has come down a little bit uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get them here um where is that it parks and rec uh, and we'll see um it's only 1 a.m so, I mean, we definitely, definitely have another rush, I would say, of like those $20, $25 surges as we get closer, closer to 3 a.m. That's when all the bars close. That's when the majority of people are looking to leave. So we'll see. I mean, we're approaching 300 already as far as, you know, earnings. Um, I haven't really been flipping on the Uber app too much because Lyft has been pumping it out. Um, but we'll flip back on Uber when we're done here if we have a minute uh, just to at least see what they're offering. All right. So I'm here. Um this person, Kristen, I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. Um, I tried to call them. It was ridiculous. I pu pu pulled right into where they were at. Um, what did that say? I earned $20 for the bonus hour. All right. So let's see where we're at. So surge is, wow, look at that $20 bonus. We're in a good spot here too. Uh, let's see how long we can milk this. There are cops everywhere. I'm starting to lose my voice. I don't know if you can tell. 3114. We'll see how much longer we're going to let this run here. Um, and then I'm probably going to just pound out the night here. You guys get the idea of what we're doing. But overall, it's just been a really good night. Um, thankfully, there hasn't been too many incidents that I can notice um, with... Let's see. Wow, that's a pretty good ride. Let's see... Well, I don't see if I request the match. I don't know if I'm going to get the $20. I need to test that out. If anyone knows for sure, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you're sitting on a surge and you request a match with a wait and save, um, do you get the surge? Because it doesn't say it there on the screen. You, you, you saw that. Like if I pull this up here, it says $14.53. Nowhere on there does it say anything about a surge. So I don't want to do it and then not get it. You see what I'm saying? So... If you do know for sure, I think I'm going to test it, you know, like on a normal weekday or something when I'm sitting on like a $2 surge. Like this is a good ride here. Like I would take that. I really, you know, I, I don't want to waste a $20 surge though. You know what I'm saying? So let's see here if we get anything. Let's, what, what is Uber doing here? Yeah, I mean, we could turn it on just to see what type of garbage they're sending out. I mean, I've had a couple decent rides with Uber, um, but nothing nothing too crazy um a lot of wait and saves just like last night i mean that's not bad 11 bucks but i mean i take that for 11 dollars and i miss out on a 20 20 I'd, I'd have to essentially log out of this so the thing is too like if you all right i'll take that that's what three miles for 25 bucks i'll take that so let's go ahead and navigate over here to the Crafty Squirrel. That's one of the hot spots here. Um, we got some some bangers here, it looks like, but we're going to log out of Uber. Sorry, Uber. I mean, Lyft has been really good to me tonight, so I mean, I don't want to just, um, just say screw them because if I'm able to get $20 surges on short rides, I mean, why, why would I not take them, you know? All right, just dropped that nice dude off with his girlfriend. Uh, everything was fine until they was about to get out of the car, and then they started arguing, which... Uh, it's pretty much consistent when you pick up drunk people from bars. They're normally always arguing. Very rarely is <laughs> the girl and the dude in agreement with anything, but uh, I'm sure they they'll make up. Um, so yeah, we dropped literally dropped him off, and we're picking up another dude in the same apartment complex. So I'm just waiting here for him. Uh, and then this ride, I think, is going kind of yeah, it's going kind of going down here. But to be honest with you, I mean, this is like let's take a look at it. So I'm getting $20 for five miles. So it's $4 a mile. And downtown is just an absolute shit show. Um, so we'll give it a little bit of time here and we'll be back. All right, we just dropped off David here. And as you can see on the map, I'm down here in kind of the Gulfport area uh, near the, um, the Gulfport Casino. 
um, and we've cracked 300. Um, let's let's take a look here uh, at these most recent rides um, while we have a second. So that one there, what 5.39 miles was 20 bucks. So that was, like I said, it was like four bucks a mile for that one. I'm starting to lose my voice. Like seriously, I'm, I really am. I've been talking a lot, not only for the recording, but also with the passengers. So that one there was what three miles? What? No, that was estimated. Actual two point seven eight miles for twenty four bucks. I mean, these are just bangers, you know. I did cancel one. I think I I, I might have recorded that. I don't know. And look, it looks like they gave me the bonus hour because we're in a bonus hour again, I believe, right? 1256 or that was just before you see that that was just within minutes so it looks like they gave me that uh this one here this was down into uh south st pete like i said the roads are all busted up down there uh two and a half miles for 17 bucks i mean you you see these here so our game plan is 142 we're gonna just head back i'm gonna drive up here north what is this 58th i think yeah 58th street uh, we're going to hop on 1st uh, Avenue South, and we're just going to take it back in. And, uh, you know, we'll try to knock this out. So what, we got three hundred six fifty five plus $15 in cash, right? So that's like another, so that's like, like 320 and then another $30 uh, on Uber. So like we're looking at what, 360 350 360 um, So we're going to look to, we're going to look to crack 400 here. All right, and just flipping on Uber here, as you can see, I mean, this is just insane as far as surge goes. So let's see what um, Uber is going to throw at us here. Again, we're down in Gulfport. I don't really think anybody's going to be heading from here to downtown St. Pete. You know what I mean? Um, well, that's a shit ride with surge. What is that? Like 15 miles for 12 bucks with surge? Get the hell out of here with that. So, yeah, I don't think... Well, this might be a very quick Uber session here. Uh, considering we're deep red, I just don't... And and this goes into uh, the sticky surge pricing here. Like, you don't know. Like, you see the red that's on the screen? That's as red as it gets. Now, sometimes that red means, like you saw earlier, you know, $5 a mile. Where I was getting, what, two-mile rides for 10 bucks. Other times, it means, like, nothing. You know, like these trip radars that you see here. These are just, for the most part, trash rides. Where is this going? So $13 for like 13, 14 miles. And that's with a surge and with a boost. Like that's complete bullshit right there. Like no way. So I don't know what Uber's pulling tonight. And you know, it, it really all depends on your area, you know, because if you, if you live in an area where you still have sticky surge pricing, now that's not a bad ride. That's 41 bucks for like what, 20 eight miles it's it's all right i mean if they tip even better uh, but we can do better than that we're not going back to tampa just yet we're not we're not going to sell out just yet uh let's see what we got here 2251 for like 15 miles boy I, I tell you what my math is not as good as i thought it was 26 bucks for 17 miles oh that was well not that was nine bucks but it was driving four miles to get them what 10 bucks for four miles i mean that one's okay i guess that's the other thing that kind of sucks about the trip radar is it doesn't bring up a map. So unless you, Gandy Boulevard North, unless you know the road itself, then you're kind of, you know, you're taking a shot in the dark with a lot of this stuff. 18 bucks for 15 miles. I just got to be careful here going down this road. It's There's people. Oh, look, an Uber pet. Get the hell out of here. What is that, 15 miles for $18 and to have a mutt in your car? Hell no. Oh, yeah, what do you know? Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and throw that Uber pet at me. Yeah, I appreciate that at 1.44 in the morning. Let, let, let me go ahead and uh, turn my car into a, a pet store. All right, so we're going to keep going here. Uh, yes, I'm still online. Of course, you know, I'm doing 40 miles an hour in a 30, and I got a big truck tailgating me right now, so I'm just going to go a little slower. That's usually how I handle this. I'm doing 40 in a 30, and I'm being tailgated in a residential community. I mean, I'm speeding, and they're just being reckless. So, um, Anyway, uh, Uber is complete trash. We're going to go ahead and just shut it off for now uh, until we get back uh, into... Is that that same Uber pet? Something very similar there going out towards the beach. No, thank you. $15 for 14 miles. 
All right, we'll be back. All right, so you can see here we are nearing the epicenter. Let's go online and see where we're at. Damn, didn't even uh, give a chance for the map to load. 775 bonus or surge at 2537 for 24 miles. No, thank you. Looks like that was a wait and save. See, everybody's looking to go home now. I mean, rightfully so. I mean, it's getting close to 2 a.m. These, in my opinion, these are the smarter people because once, you know, once we get close to 3 a.m., uh, good luck. I mean, on a normal night, good luck, let alone tonight. Um, there's only so many drivers. I, I tend to think there's going to be a lot of people tonight that don't that don't get rides home. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they'll have to, you know, catch a cab. What in the world is this? Bungalow Grove? What in the hell? That's going over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Uh, no thank you, even for 54 bucks. I mean, if I live down there, maybe. Maybe there's somebody that lives down in Bungalow Grove uh, or close to Bradenton. Uh, 29 bucks going out to Clearwater Beach. No thank you for 24 miles. We're going to find a place here pretty soon to uh, pull over. What is this, $19? That's not too bad. $19 for, what, about 8 miles? That's not too bad, but they could do better. They could do better. I don't really want to go south if I don't have to. Here's another one. $23. Oof, we're getting warmer. Uh, should I take it? Should I take it? Six, seven miles for $23. bucks. Eh, I probably should have taken that. But that's, I mean, that's going the complete, you got to think, you know, going the complete opposite direction. Like I said earlier, we're looking to go east-west. See, look, this is like the same amount of money as that last one. And this is like four more miles for the same amount. Uh, this is 22.34 for what, 12 miles? That other one was the same amount for like seven miles, eight miles. I just, there's like no rhyme or reason to this shit. Okay, now this is something I'll probably take. Look at that, two, 2.7 miles for 16.38, done. Now we gotta backtrack a little bit and get this song, bitch, but we're gonna go do it. Um, let's see, four minutes away, we're gonna hop on 175. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and pick them up. We're kind of traveling, we're traveling back to get them to go forward, if that makes any sense. It looks like they're heading to downtown. I, I'll have to look at it one more time, but you saw it. It's like three less than three miles for, I, I don't even know. I'm, I'm losing track. There's just so many numbers here tonight. Um, but let me go ahead and grab this song, bitch, and uh, we'll be back. All right, just dropped them off. We're going to keep it going. Let's take a look here. You can see we are still surging so hard here. Uh, they were a nice French couple. Look at this, 288. What kind of shit was that? Oh, yeah, that was that one that I went down south to come back. Okay, I remember that one. So that was 1638 for three miles. And then this one that I just took, this app is super laggy. Uh, that was this one here for, let's see here, 1606 for 4.43 miles. I mean, that one was okay. Um, let's see where we're at. So we're close. Let's see what it's going to give us here, like 10 bucks maybe. Something went wrong with your last ride. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. I honestly don't know where I'm at right now. I think I have to go back the other way. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty good ride. You see we're at, what, 338 plus another 30 for Uber. I haven't even been turning on Uber. There's really no need to, to be quite honest with you. I mean, if I'm going to be getting, I'm not looking to be super greedy here, but I mean, if I'm going to be getting 15 to $20 on top of, you know, every ride that I get with Lyft, I mean, multi-apping and flipping over to Uber, I mean... I could do it, but I don't know. I just don't really find the um, the need to. So we're going to head back in. Um, what does it say? $12. So we're going to head back in. Uh, a lot of people in the area are uh, looking to uh, head home. That's why I always say I always like to pay attention. Or you know, are, are more people getting out of the Ubers or getting into the Ubers? You know what I mean? Uh, and down there where I just picked up the French couple... Uh, in front of Parks and Rec, there was like five Ubers all with their flashers on, everybody getting in. So, I mean, it's two o'clock. Bars close at three. I don't, I think the bar hopping is done. I don't think anybody's going to pick up where they're at and go to another bar for 30 minutes. I don't see that happening. So, 
Uh, people that are getting in Ubers now, they're going home. What is this here? 33.29 for what, 27 miles. No, thank you. And uh, we're just going to head back in there. You see 21.75. It might even be more. Earlier, uh, when it gave me the 25, it didn't say 25 on the map. It said like 20 on the map, and it gave me 25. So um, that's like kind of sort of a rough estimate. You see we're at 10 now. So we'll see. It's 2.15. We're going to try to keep going. I mean, I'm still doing okay. Aside from my, me kind of losing my voice a little bit, I'm starving. But, um, you know, we're just going to keep pushing through here. Um, the roads are thankfully starting to empty out a bit, which makes things much easier. Um, and we'll just try to, you know, make the most of it here. Because nights like this, and if any of you are out there watching this far in, I just want you all to understand this is not the reality of rideshare anymore, okay? This is once or twice a year. This is like our Black Friday. And I mentioned that, I think, in the last video. You know, this is uh, anticipated. We, we knew it was going to be busy. Um, but don't watch this video and think, oh, I'm going to get into rideshare because I can make 500 bucks a night. It ain't going to happen. I'll, I'll tell you right, you know, right to your face here. It ain't going to happen. Tonight, things are looking good. We're going to keep it going. Again, we're going to make the most of it, but this is not the reality of the situation. I just want everybody to understand that. Another ride, 26. Didn't they just give me a Tampa ride for like 33? And now you're giving me one for 26? Lots of Tampa rides. You can see a lot of people party down in St. Pete from Tampa, right? Uh, the people, those French couple that I that I just uh, dropped off, they um, they live here, but they're going to be moving to Tampa. So it's like either or. What is that? Fifty two. What is that? Why is that so much? You see that? I'm debating on taking that. Fifty two. I'm gonna take that. Call me crazy. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. Call me crazy. Why is that so much? 52. I'm trying to brainstorm. I mean, 16 miles for 52 bucks. I mean, it's three. It's $3 a mile. Ah, you know, I don't know if I should have taken that, to be honest with you. I don't, I'll drive back down. For 52 bucks. I will turn around and drive back down 16 miles. It'll take me 20 minutes to get back down here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and roll with it. Let's see what this is all about. I don't know. This might be a cancel. I'm parked right here. Um, you can see the timer there. I just sent her a message. Um, yeah, I don't know. But um, I, I mean, that 52 bucks, I mean, just seems like a lot. Like, I, I don't know what's going on with this ride. But I mean, it says 52 bucks. So like I said, I'm, I'll drive up there 16 miles, drop her off and come back. I mean, it'll take me 20, 25 minutes. But uh, let's just look here with Uber. That's not bad. 16 bucks. Like, look at that. $37 to go 41 miles. 34 bucks for 17 miles. $20 for 9 miles. That's like 2 bucks a mile. That's not terrible. It's all right. And look, this person, you see they're walking in the other direction. I mean, these people are just idiots, bro. They're drunk. Uh, let, me, let me just... Um, let me call them real quick so I can cancel that ride and, and get my two fucking dollars. All right, so we went ahead and canceled that. Um, well, I'll take that for two miles. I don't know, that ride in general, I mean, it just, you know, like from a dollar per mile perspective, it seemed like, you know, two or three dollars a mile. I have to look at it again. I screenshotted it. I'm going to take a look at it again, but... Um, it, that just seemed like a lot to go from where we are 16 miles up to Clearwater. I mean, there were other Clearwater rides coming through right at the same time. I think that was just her, bro. I don't know. Whatever. I canceled it. She ended up walking around the corner. She's just probably trashed. Who the hell knows? We're getting to this time of night. It's 2.30 in the morning where, you know, people just, uh, they don't, um, they're not thinking straight. You know, they're ordering stuff, you know, phones in there, put their phone in their pocket and then just start walking down the street like, generally speaking, I don't like to drive this late, you know, or this early, I should say, you know, I'm usually, you know, heading back home by now, but definitely want to try to make the most of it if the money's there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pick up, um, this person over at Coastal Creative. All right. Another one in the books, 364. Let's go online. Let's keep it going. 238 AM. Man, it is fire engine red here. 10 miles for 26 bucks. No, thank you. 
those people were cool. They were hammered, though. They were asking me to sing the first Shania Twain song that came to mind, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? That's how faded those people were. Uh, what is this? Uh, 15 for 29 You see, now that's like the same type of ride that was 55 bucks. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. I'm going to stop talking about that ride. 1725 bonus. I do not know why there's so many people on this little tiny back road back here. This is crazy. It must be a house party or something. 23. It's not a bad ride, but we're going to pass on it. They can do better. We're looking for something like we just had. Like, that was a really good ride. With this app load. See, look, it was a 19. Look at that bonus. That's not bad either. Where is that going? Uh, three, four miles. Eh, I mean, that's probably okay. I mean, I could really take a lot of these, to be quite honest with you. I mean, I'm just being really picky at this point. 23 bucks. See, that last one was. A much better ride than this one you know but that one's this one's at least heading north if i was looking to start going back home um, but i'm not looking to go back home just yet i mean pretty much every car that's on the road right now has like an uber or lyft you know emblem on it or like light i should say and i gotta assume a lot of them that are driving are still uber and lyft that don't even have uh the light but everywhere i look that's pretty much all i see at this point making runs um 1950 bonus come on now what are we waiting for let's go a lot of waiting saves tonight what in the hell is this 20 what 26 miles that's going all the way the hell down there to like perish or something i'm not i'm not doing all that obviously let's see 25 dollar bonus look at that we are maxed out full send maxed out what are they going to give us here? $25 bonus. Do we take it? Eight? Nah, I mean, you see, the thing is, if I take that, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to want to go home. You know what I mean? I want to try to stay down here. I'm still locked in at 25. I'm going to pull off to the side here so I can pay attention to what I'm doing here. Um, this is a, I think this is a spot here even. Wow, surprisingly. All right, so what do we got? Nine. That's not a bad ride either, man. 32 bucks. I mean, I guess if you're adding $25 to anything, it's not bad. This is crazy. I bet you they're so pissed at me. Oh, look at that. $30 for six miles. I think I'm going to take that. Uh, all right, screw it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Screw it. I'm not going to sit around here and wait. All right, where are we picking them up? Where's Jubes? All right, we just dropped off Tyler. Cool dude. Left his girlfriend at the bar with some other dude. She was apparently talking to some guy, and he just got an Uber or a Lyft, I should say, and just fucking left her there. What a savage, man. That's how you handle it. Awesome. $394. This is, uh, this is, I've never made this much money. Oh, and he left me a tip, too. Good man. Um... This is the most money I've ever made doing rideshare in a single night. So look at this ride, boy. This was this is a banger. 6.21 miles, $35 with a tip. Holy shit. Wait, it was more than that, right? That doesn't even count the tip. Yeah, yeah, it does. So yeah, 25 surge. 534 was the fare. So that's like 30, 34 plus 465. So 35 bucks for that. And you can see here where we're at. We're up here near Lealman. Man, there's a bad accident, though. I had to actually take a detour uh, to get here. There's a bad accident on uh, 375 uh, right over here. Like, right where it says 595 right there, there's a bad accident. So, we're going to have to, you know, keep that in mind when we go to leave. I mean, there's plenty of different ways to go home and to, you know, disperse people from the city. Um, but we're going to keep going, man. $3.99 plus another 30 on... What the fuck is Uber doing, bro? What is Uber doing? What are we... Yeah, there ain't shit going on. Let's turn this on just to see. Sometimes it'll refresh. Oh, oh my God. All right, let's not waste any time. 
I don't give a shit about this. We're getting we're getting close to the end of the night. I'm starting to get tired. Um, and I, you know, mind you, I'm I'm nowhere near home either. You know, it's not like I live around the corner. So even if I were to start driving home right now, I'm not going to be home for at least another half hour, forty five minutes. And it's already three a.m. So we're going to keep it going. Let's go back. Let's go back in for at least one or two more here. Um, I mean, we could crack 500 tonight. I mean, we're at what, like 430? We're at like 445 now if we include, what is this, $48? Well, that one went quick. We're at like 445 right now with the $15 in cash tips between the two apps. Um, and, you know, more tips could potentially roll in. I mean, that dude just tipped, but I've had several people tonight tell me they're going to tip me in the app, and they never tip me, so... Uh, We'll see if I wake up tomorrow to more tips. But either way, uh, let's go ahead and head back in. All right, let's kick it back on here. Let's see what they give us. We are not far from downtown. What are we at? A $9 surge. Let's keep it going. You can see there, $22.75. Is that 28 bucks for 22 miles? No thanks. And some of these, um, you know, some of these rides are so much better than others. You know, if you don't, if you don't kind of take a second to look at it, and I, you know, a lot of people don't even look, man. A lot of these drivers just say, "Oh, thirty-seven bucks, let's take it." Um, Camden West Shore, that's not a bad ride, dude. To take, fuck, man. You know, I, I'm being greedy now. I have to say, man. But you know, nights like this don't happen. Now, what is this? Sixteen bucks for two miles. Um, uh, they can do better, man. That, I mean, that, that that's probably probably should have taken that. But to be honest with you, they can do fucking better than that. We're right here by a twenty-five dollar surge. They were only going to give me sixteen for that. Thirty-eight for twenty-three. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of getting tired here. I'm. Uh, starting to slack a bit on, on calling them out, but 25 for 36, 25 uh, miles for $36. Okay. Not, not what we want to see. All right. That's not bad. 23 for four miles. Let's take that one. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's take it. And that's right over here at Avenue. Okay. All right. Let's pick this dude up. We're already there, man. What is that? Half a mile. We're right there. So let's pick him up and let's do this one. All right, all right. Another ride in the books. That one was pretty easy. They were cool. They weren't really too drunk at all. Let's see. How much was that one? It was a $3.83 ride with a nineteen fifty surge. So twenty three thirty three for 3.69 miles. You know, years ago... Um, you know, I, I've been doing rideshare on and off for four years, man. I remember when just normal nights were like this. You know what I mean? Like, this this is kind of how it used to be. This is why, you know, when you talk to people that, not even me, but just in general, when you talk to people that have been doing rideshare a long time, this is why a lot of people have quit because on a normal night, <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the, the BS that you've got to go through just to make 80 bucks. You know, you used to be able to make 80 bucks on just a couple rides. You know what I mean? This is a this is a prime example of how things used to be, um, you know. But all right, so four twenty two. What time is it? Three eighteen. What's the surge? Look, I mean, we still got twenty five dollar surge, man. And I mean, I was just in downtown. It doesn't look like there's too many people down there, though. Like I don't know. I'm guessing it's just because. A lot of the drivers are, are probably starting to go home. You see all those Tampa runs that come in. Every one of those that's accepted. I, t- I touched on this earlier, and it kind of goes without saying. You know, every one of those long rides that I decline, most likely somebody else is taking. And if they're taking them and they're driving 25, 30 miles away from downtown St. Pete at 3 o'clock in the morning, or in this case, 320, now 320 in the morning, there's a good chance they're not coming back to downtown St. Pete. You know what I mean? They're they're done. They're they're going back home, or they're gonna stay up there wherever they're at. Um, and uh, let's see, we're we're approaching that 25. Let's go ahead and kick it on here. Let's see what it gives us. 22.50. What is this? 
2.8 so that's five i mean that's that's not bad but they can we can do better and plus there's an accident like i mentioned on uh the interstate there so let's let's try to stay off the interstate at least for at least uh, like another half hour hour till they get that cleared up um but yeah i mean i i'm just assuming now i mean i'm looking at completely empty streets i'm assuming it's yes there's people that are looking for rides but there's just <laughs> me and a few other drivers trying to do all this all right well, look at this one 27 bucks for five miles so let's let's do this one that's basically going back right where I was, picking somebody up and taking them right back over here. So let's just do this one. This is pretty easy. Another one in the books. That dude was hammered. I actually thought, and this kind of leads me into, what is this, 35? You know, I should, oh man, you know, I should really start looking for rides to start going back home, but it's still a $25 surge. I mean, how do I turn this down? Let's look at that last ride here, and then I'll get into my point. Um, so, yeah, it was a $3 ride with a $25 surge. Look at that. Less than two miles for $28, bucks, bro. It's insane. So, that dude, well, he, he there was two dudes. One of them was was straight. Like, he, he might have been drinking, but he was completely fine. He was probably fine to drive. His buddy, on the other hand, he was literally laying on the ground when I went to pick him up. And he got up and he couldn't even stand straight. So I'm immediately like, oh shit, is this guy going to fucking vomit in my car? And that leads me to my third. Remember earlier in the video, if you are still watching, you know, I appreciate that. Hit the thumbs up. But that leads me to my third point. So last night, it finally happened. Somebody puked in my car. Um, it was one of the final rides of the night. It was my own fault because, as I always say, man, you know, the longer you keep people in your car, the greater chance that there could be an incident like that, especially picking somebody up. It was one of my final nights. It's just 24, $24. Final rides of the nights, 24 for 33. No way. So long story short, um, it was going from downtown St. Pete out to St. Pete Beach, which is like 10 miles. It's like a 25 minute, um, 25 minute drive. And, um, I swear to you, like, within a mile of, of the destination, the dude pukes in my back seat. Now, the good part about it, I mean, obviously it fucking stunk, but when he puked, he lifted up his shirt and literally puked into his shirt, right? So I look back and the dude was like, oh man, and like, the dude that was with him was freaking out more than the dude that was actually puking. So I immediately pulled over and we were like, I could see the hotel that I was driving to when I pulled over. He's like, look, bro, I know. Well, I'll help you clean it up. I'll help you clean it up. Can you just at least pull up to the hotel? So I pulled up to the hotel. This dude gets out. And like I said, he puked into his shirt. And I went back there. And mind you, it's 3.30 a.m. I went back there with my phone and my flashlight. And I looked and I couldn't see any spillage. Look at this right here. That's two miles. Oh, man. If they two miles for $28. Let's go ahead and take this. So I went back there. We're going to Ferg's, it looks like, or close to it. There was no puke anywhere. It my, my whole car stunk. I, I pretty much made it my last ride of the night. I had one more ride when I got back to the Tampa side, but I went back through there with the flashlight. I couldn't find any, um, you know, like shrapnel if you will the only place that i did see it was on the exterior part of my door i guess the vomit was on the guy's hand and when he went to shut the door there was like a smear of that shit so i, I had to spray that i have a uh, spray cleaner and wipes but yeah man it finally happened somebody puked in my fucking car so when i just took that dude that i you know just moments ago i i got that same feeling but um, I've been driving on and off for Uber for four and a half years. I have never had anybody puke in my car until last night. So I just wanted to share that. So let's see here. We're picking up uh, um, this dude here at the drought house. Um, and um, I mean, man, at 30, it's like 30 bucks, right? $28 for, you saw it, like less than three miles, two miles or something like that. So let's knock this one out. All right, that might have been the easiest ride of the entire night. They were literally right on the street. I picked them up. I went down just a couple blocks, and, uh, and I dropped them off. They were super cool. I was like $28 in the bag. So we have broken 500, ladies and gentlemen. We have broken 500. 480 on, 
we'll t- we'll take a look at when I get back home tonight. I'm a, I'll we'll take a look at everything. But yeah, we've broken five hundred, and we are still in a twenty five dollar surge. All of these rides plus twenty five. But like, why would I take that when I could find something hopefully that's rather short? This is not too bad. Let's let's just fuck it. Let's just keep declining this shit, man. Twenty five dollar surge. There's nobody here. Like I'm like one of say forty dollars for twenty two miles. I'm just gonna pull over over here. Man, I wonder what my acceptance rate is. My acceptance rate is probably in the dumpster. I've declined so many rides tonight. I mean, I've taken some rides too, but I've declined a lot of rides, boy. All right, let me pull over here. I have driven I have driven 130 miles tonight and I've made $500 just to give you an idea. 33 bucks. I mean these are all people that are still looking to go home. I mean the streets are pretty much empty now. All the bars are closed. Look at this. $28 for a mile. No shot. Let's take that one, bro. Holy shit. All right, let's go. Let's get uh let's get this dude. All right, so just dropped that dude off and something crazy happened. Now, you can see I am all the way the hell out here. And that trip that I accepted was only supposed to be like a mile or something. Remember, let's go back to it real quick. So look at that. So estimated, that was what came on my screen. You see 0.98? That's why I took the ride. And look, actual seven miles. So the dude gets in my car and then we get to the to the drop off. And I pull over. He's like, bro, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, this is your drop-off. He goes, oh, shit, I put my buddy's address. So it was almost like a do-over of what happened last night. Only this time, when I told the dude that, he goes, oh, man, here. He gave me 50 bucks to take him here. So he gave me $50 cash on top of, you saw that there. How much was it? 30 Come on, load. So how much was this? So he gave me 50. So I made almost 82 fucking dollars on that ride right there. Right? I mean, I'm, I'm out here like eight miles all the way out west. I mean, complete opposite direction. But he said he waited like 40 minutes, which I isn't that kind of weird? I mean, maybe he's just bullshit. I don't know. He said he waited 40 minutes doing the wait and save for the lift. He didn't want to wait again. That's why he gave me 50 bucks. He, he wanted to get home. He needed to see his girl or something. Freaking crazy now. So it's 4.08 a.m. And you can see the surge is, you know, it's no longer 20-something bucks. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to head east. I, I'm, I got to head back up. Wow, Tampa still got surge. I got to head back home. But we're at least going to try to catch a ride back to Tampa. So... Even if it's like a dollar a mile, I don't give a shit. So that's going to be the game plan here. Uh, And then we're going to call it a night. And when I get home, I don't know if it's going to be tonight or when I wake up tomorrow, I'll film, you know, and show everybody, you know, what I made and the the final totals and all that. But yeah, man, today's been a crazy night. But no, I was, it was, it was literally going to be a repeat of what happened last night. But the dude, he reached right, he was literally reaching right into his pocket before I could even respond to him. Uh, and he, uh, yeah, he gave me 50 bucks. So man, that was freaking sweet. So, um, we're at 513 and, um, yeah, we're, we're going to be finishing up here soon. All right. So we're back on the Tampa side. It is 443 AM. We're showing 529. We're going to tally everything up. I'm probably going to do that in the morning. It'll be a separate little segment of the video. Um, but just after I hung up that last, um, recording, um, I took the first ride that was queued up to go to Tampa right after that. You see, it's like, uh, it was actually, I just had to go, I had to backtrack a little bit here because the, the road the dude lives on was like closed and shit. So you see there was like 17 miles for 16 bucks. I mean, whatever. Um, I just wanted to, uh, to have Lyft pay for my gas. So we're back here in Tampa. We're done. We're not taking any more rides. I'm heading home. Um, and this is, uh, like I mentioned before, this is in four and a half years. Uh, this is, this is the best night I've ever had doing ride share. I broke 600 bucks doing regular lift, 
regular Uber, only a couple rides on Uber there. Um, and I just went through my, uh, my photo album. There's like 50 different clips that I'm going to have to piece together here. So I don't know when this video is going to go live. Uh, it's early Sunday morning. Um, probably going to drive. I don't even want to think about driving again, but I'll probably drive tomorrow night too, Sunday night or tonight. And then, um, Monday I'll, I mean, I'm going to take the day off. I got some other shit I got to do with my other job, but I'll probably edit it on Monday. Maybe it'll go live Monday. Maybe it'll go live on Tuesday, depending. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kind of dead mile at home. I live up here. I mean, there is actually still surge around. I mean, it's crazy. Um, you can see St. Pete where I just came from is, is pretty much all dwindled down. Uh, but you see here, Tampa's, uh, you know, still kind of hitting it here. 14 was at 1425 at the airport. Um, wow. What is going on down here? Look at this 25. So, I mean, really, I mean, and as we talked about earlier as well, $25 seems to be the max. I uh, did not see any surges go over $25 despite how busy, uh, and it held at $25 for a while, got uh, many uh, you know, $25 bonuses on uh, the rides that I took. So I'm signing off, and like I said, I'm going to go ahead, and tomorrow morning I'll piece together a little segment. Uh, we'll show you the full total, but it was over $600, uh, only UberX, only regular Lyft. Have a good night, everyone. All right, it is the next day, 1224 in the afternoon. Just woke up about 20 minutes ago, got home, fell asleep a little after six. I really tried to fall asleep before the sun came up. Thankfully, I was able to do that. So let's take a look at the totals from last night. I went ahead and already cashed out what was available on Lyft. Uh, I don't like keeping large amounts of money on an app. Uh, who the hell knows what could happen? See all activity. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's add this up. So 529.61, you see there are 29 rides. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, and I have like 60-something clips that I'm going to have to piece together. You see some of them there. Uh, I was just going through it. Uh, so 529.61, let's add this up, 529. And feel free to pause your screen. I, I recorded pretty much every ride. Look at that. I had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back $25 surges there at the end of the night. Look at that. Um, scrolling down here, you know, I had to cancel a couple passengers, another 25 there. That was, this was probably the best ride of the night. That was like 35 bucks for six miles. I mean, there was a couple in there too, that were like two miles for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. I mean, you, you know, you could definitely go back through these. All of these were really good. What was this one here? 31 bucks for six miles. I mean, just crazy, crazy, crazy. I can't imagine. And I know I mentioned in the video too, you know, many years ago, it was kind of like this on the weekend. Like, you could kind of get away with this stuff until the apps really uh, started to screw over people. Um, all right, so 529 for Lyft. Let's go over to Uber real quick. Let's see. I only did a couple rides with Uber. Let's see. Yesterday, Saturday, 2824. You see there are three rides. Uh, let's go and take a look quickly at these. 989. These were all like one or two mile rides total. 989, 754, and 1081. So... Uh, nothing too crazy there, so let's add another 28 to this. And then I got 50 bucks from that dude at the end of the night, and then I had like another $15 in cash from tips from that dude at the grocery store and some other lady that uh, that left me five bucks. So 622 total. Um, and as far as mileage goes, I you know I, I have to look at it again, but it wasn't even 150 miles. I think it was like 130 miles or something like that. Um, and as far as gas goes, that's not even half a tank for me. Okay. So, you know, maybe $20 in gas, right? I mean, and as I, I can't harp on this enough, this is definitely not the reality of ride share, but, um, we anticipated it being busy. It was busy. I plan on going out again tonight. Uh, it's Sunday. I'm going to kind of chill here, make some food, uh, and just kind of see what there is out there. I'm not going to spend, I'm not going to drive until 4 or 5 a.m., but um, I'll go out for a little bit uh, Sunday night normally. Uh, you know, it's probably not too much going on. But if I can nab another 150, 200 tonight, you know, on top of 600 from yesterday and another like 260 from the day before, I could be like a $1,000 weekend here. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm shooting for. So if you enjoy the video, 
Be sure to leave a like. Leave a comment down below if there's any rides that you want me to kind of break down. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of clips that I'm going to have to be going through, and I'm happy to do it. It's going to be fun to kind of cut through things uh, and, and, and piece together a really cool video for everyone to see. So we'll talk to everybody later.